One. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Into the Multiverse. So, Into the Multiverse is a uh, series of D&D campaigns, all set in the world of Gostar. Um, and each campaign follows an alternate timeline or a different reality. And this story uh, follows that of the PV Rebellion. And uh, last we left off in the in the game. Um, the PB Rebellion have just arrived in Jotunheim and are immediately on the run from uh, some sort of Faelord killer guy. But I'll get to that in a minute, but before I uh, do a little recap, I'll get everyone to introduce themselves so you can understand who's playing and everything else. Um, so, uh, we'll start with uh, yourself, Sharis. Would you like to introduce oh, who you're playing? Yeah, hello. Um, my name is Sharis and I play Rael, who is a changeling paladin under the Overflory and follows the deity Demo. Um, he's also a, a huge raging homosexual <laughs> and he is the uh, one of the dads in the group. He's a bit more of the, the stern dad. Uh, his, his other uh, parental um, partner is Oscar, the happy-go-lucky dad. Um, <laughs> So they uh, just loads of antics. Right. Um, something from yesterday. I mean, not yesterday, last session. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, Rail seems to have seen what might be his deity. Maybe mm -hmm. hasn't been a hundred percent confirmed, but uh, he saw a water serpent mm -hmm. and got really happy. <laughs> and he took Shahil with him to get some funky uh, liquid eye drops, uh -huh, and yeah. his eyes are fixed now. So, Yay. Yay. <laughs> all better, better than never. Better than... All better. Yeah. Woo! Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, brilliant. Thanks. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, next, uh, we've got yourself, Cat, playing Quill. Um, hello, my name is Cat. I play Quill Zarakai. Um, she's a thiefling bard, so part th tiefling, part uh, goblin, oh, so a very lovely mix. <laughs> um, she is uh, a bard under the College of Spirits and also a part-time rogue. Uh, she's like the wine aunt slash mum of the group so far. <laughs> um, she, she's, she's just having a grand old time collecting ghosts because she sees dead people. Um, and and stealing things from people that are trying to kill her. Mm. It's great. Absolutely. So that's the main thing I remember from last session. Yeah, yeah, you lost one of your ghosts uh, in the last Lost, session. Lost my favorite uncle. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, gained a crocodile man. <laughs> yes, you and did. also stole the lamp with the help of Oscar. Yeah. So we, yeah. I can hopefully get my favorite uncle back. Fingers crossed. <laughs> hopefully. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much. Um, unfortunately, we do not have um, Maggie today, but hopefully uh, next time we play, uh, Maggie will be here to play Oscar, the second dad of the group, the giant furball druid, big, happy, smiley, very wholesome college core um, boy. Uh, now with a mustache. <laughs> now with added mustache. Um, uh, so we will instead then hop straight to yourself, Marissa, playing Wisteria. Hello, my name is Marissa. Uh, I play Wisteria, um, otherwise known as Wizzy, or the troublemaker slash mischievous child of the group. Uh, she is an arcana cleric, she is a Tiffley Fae, currently being chased uh, for her life by her cousin, as usual, you know. Um, <laughs> so, last session, um, Wisteria got a bit of a, a, a headache quite literally, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and almost died. I rolled my first nat one on a death save, so that was pretty fun. And now she's about to gain consciousness and realize she does not have great vision anymore. So that's going to be very fun. <laughs> and that is uh, pretty much Wisteria. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Uh, yeah, not, not nice having your head just push through a no. rock. Um, no, no a bit of a headache. <laughs> Bit of a just a little, little bit of a, a crack brain skull, a little, little bit of little yeah, bit of skull just, in your brain. Just, yeah, it's just just a little bit. <laughs> well, thank you very much, and uh, it is lovely to have yourself back, Cass, playing Shahil. Yay! It's me. Yay. I Who's I the play. Boy? Stop! 
I played a... <laughs> I played a bitch boy, Shahil. He is like the... Yeah, he's like the angsty teen of the group. All he does is just be gay, try and kill people, and cry. Oh. Um, last, <laughs> last thing I remember was when we were in Oscar's hometown thing, and Quill uh, drank the baby water. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. The Everyone last thing remembers I... the baby water. Classic birthday <laughs> That's <juice>. the last <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah. Incredible. So. Yeah, wow, that's been yeah. well. So, yeah. <laughs> Birth, birthing yeah. juices uh, have been drunk. You've also, you've, you've eaten a, there should be a list of all the weird stuff you've eaten as Quill. Mm. There's birthing juices, eggs. Yeah, babies. Yeah, yeah I little, like eyeball. Um, eyeball. 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 <laughs> little, little tiny babies. <laughs> tiny babies. Well, that, I'm... oh shit, I'm a vampire. <laughs> yeah, you are, you're a vampire. <laughs> uh, heads up, guys. I <laughs> can't remember. I can't believe Quill, Quill was the first one to eat Shahil out. Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> <Jesus. I'm> done, <laughs> yes. Well, on that note, uh, hello again, everyone. My name is Gabriel Galway as well. Uh, I am the DM or the Dungeon Master. So I, I tell the story um, and I throw all the NPCs in the way of the characters and they interact with those. I throw obstacles at them and these are the heroes, these are the player characters who interact with the world that I build around them. Um, and so, your journey has led to Jotunheim, where you're on a trip now to make it to the Temple of Demu, um, and hopefully free it from the influence of the Dreamer, who's this Eldritch Horror, um, that apparently existed up the whole world, and if his eyes are gathered in one place, he'll waken up again, and it'll be the end of everything. Uh, so very nasty guy, and you're hoping to uh, fight against the Dreamer by essentially freeing this, this temple and, and strengthening Demu, who is the opposite to the Dreamer. They, they are the, the counterweight to the Dreamer. And... Yeah, that's what you're hoping to do. So you made it to Jotunheim, a very uh, snowy wasteland. Everyone's a little more kind of rough and rugged here. And your first encounter here in a tavern was with a character called uh, Blight Darklight, uh, who is a hunter of Feylords and is potentially over a thousand years old. And he's been hunting all of the children of Feylords uh, around Jotunheim for years and years and years. Uh, and tried to kill Wisteria, but you all managed to get away and steal his lantern in the process. This lantern is used to capture the souls of Feylords. Uh, so they can't be revived, can't come back. Uh, so you now have that in your possession. You've been on the run now for, I'll say, a day or so, just camping and, and, and just trying to make as much headway as you, as you possibly can. And when you finally feel like you can You've, you've gained enough distance from this character. You set up camp finding. You've been on the road, I'm gonna say, just for expediency, you know, probably switching out the drivers, getting rest when you can. It's been rough and all your bones are aching. Hello, uh, Shiro Kerry Tori, zero one. And thank you very much for subscribing. Hello, hello. Oh, thank you. Damn, thank you for subscribing. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, you, all your bones are pretty achy, pretty sore, and you just can't take it anymore. You're, you've got the kind of like jitters as well from being like going up and down uh, on the road inside the wagon for ages, and you finally touch down on ground. You stop, and you finally catch your breath, you breathe, and set up camp for the night. And you're on the way now to stop in the, the town of uh, Grimwald, I believe, which is a stop on the way to Demu's temple. Um, so, we'll pick up here. You set up camp, I will say Oscar is furiously trying to cook up a feast for all of you with all the cooking skills he's acquired while staying at home and is just in deep, deep concentration right now. Just focus on that for the time being. Uh, as, you know, Maggie's not here to, to play him, so. <laughs> he will be furiously cooking. Um, Lovely. Is there anything you'd like to do in this time? And during this time as well, it's about two weeks until you get to Grimwald. So you have time to relax, to practice things, to train, to make preparations, to try and throw 
uh, blight off your, your trail as well, if you want to. And I will say as well, as you've been traveling occasionally throughout the nights and throughout the day, you hear off in the distance, miles away, the booming of what sounds like thunder as he is constantly light stepping, doing that same teleportation that he did to catch up with you on the wagon before, where he just darts at you like a bolt of lightning and that same explosion of sound you can hear off in the distance every now and again and this is the first night where you can't hear that yay Ooh, amazing lovely i hope he gets lost in the woods <laughs> you know you know what i want to try what do you want to try i want to i want to try and summon doc you it's been dog. so long. Dog. Yeah. Dog. You know what? This <laughs> element. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember because I, I killed him a bit last time. You did. About, <laughs> yeah. A little. long time ago. <laughs> he, he exploded for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He got sucked up into a dark hole, like a black yeah. hole. Um, oh, no, and so, yeah, you, give me, you know, for this, I will say. Oh, wait. Where are my dice? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, okay, wait, let somebody else do it first. I'm gonna find my dice. You find your dice, and for this, I will just say uh, it's going to be a. Uh, you use your charisma, so it'll just be a straight charisma check to see if you can reform, like tap into that power again and try to pull your, your wolf back out of your chest. Right. My broken dog. Okay. Your broken yeah. dog. So, uh, give me a roll and let's see what you get. What, what's the whoever's rolling this dice? What are they adding to it? What's your charisma modifier? My charisma modifier is plus four. Okay, so I'll, I'll roll for you. Go for it. I'll Thank roll. you. All right. It's four, yes. Yeah. Now look for my dice after. That's a twenty-three. Okay. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> Well, so as you uh, uh, you dig deep, you focus on that energy, that focus on tears power, and you plunge your hands slowly and instinctively into that ring at the center of your chest, and it moves through it like water. As your hand goes deep, and you grab something solid, and you start to pull it out of your chest, and this water starts to pour out of your chest like a fountain, and then slowly starts to reform, and kind of like... Um, a Tetris cube. Uh, the, the ice starts to freeze up into places and starts to shift and twist and reform into this, uh, into your, your wolf. And as, as, as it does uh, take shape, its face kind of looks like a Picasso painting. <laughs> <laughs> and it just gives you the happiest smile before one of its eyes, you know, rotate a little bit and kind of fix itself a little bit, but it's okay. Constantly trying to fix itself, but it's like, again, like a Rubik's Cube that's not quite fixed and is uh -huh. still it's under the process. <laughs> <laughs> it's still under the process of reshaping its face, but it, it is there pretty much. It's there. One of its paws is shifted the wrong way and it's just like, <laughs> Oh, you're so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's just gonna pat it a bit, but like, he's not gonna be happy about it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, well, it's good to have you back, Doc. <coughs> yes. <laughs> that, that, that's just me thinking. Snuggles up onto your lap, and uh, it's, its eyes occasionally constantly just shift around its face, and features constantly shift into story because it's trying to. Uh, Oh, he's really yeah. trying. <laughs> <A> freak of nature. <laughs> oh god, Ralph would be like looking, almost like mortified that all this water's coming out. But as soon as he realizes it's dog and sees his face, he can't help but laugh because this is pretty hilarious. He's <laughs> just gonna glare at Rael. Just don't you dare laugh at my at my dog. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 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 oh, that's uh, fortunate, <laughs> but funny. <laughs> oh, he he got sucked in, in into a, a black dimension. I'm just happy that he got back. <laughs> oh yeah, t t for sure, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't so... look much prettier if that happened to you. Oh, oh, we're going there, are we? Okay. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> Gosh. Also, I had a, a, a question. Yes. The DM. Yes. Um, I put on my DM's this, voice. 
Yes, thank you, the almighty, <laughs> omnipotent god. Um, <laughs> uh, for knocking uh, Blight off our trail a bit, yeah. would Rail know ways to cover up tracks in the snow? Of, like, yeah, you've done it all the time. Stuff? Yeah, 100%. Would that be uh, something yeah. I could have done? Give me a survival check. Let's see how well you do this. Oh my god! Based Wait, on that, know. we'll... we'll uh, yeah, one sec. Let, let me just get my... Uh, I completely forgot to get my sheet. No memento, blah, blah, blah. I think it's like a one, two. It's like your wisdom modifier for this. Yeah, then it might be a plus one. It might. Thank you. So you can roll anyway. I'll say you can have advantage with this because you are a soldier. This is oh, something you're used to. That's nice. Okay, I'll just wait for my sheet to turn up on the computer. Yeah, yeah no worries. I'll say as well, as this is all happening, um, uh, Trill uh, does eventually uh, separate from the group for a moment as well as you, and you think for a second they just need to stretch their legs, they just need to get some air, uh, but they have dashed off uh, into the woods a little bit just to just to get a breather. We'll get to that in just a moment. But what hey, did, you, uh, did you get? Got a I got a fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, so you have some some simple techniques that work. So one is you when you get to a fork in a road at one point while approaching here the day before. You, instead of going the way you should, uh, you take the reins and you go up that road for some time before then the, the pair, all, all of you together working as a group, carefully reverse the wagon back over the exact same tracks, back to where you were. And then Rayo, you use this technique that you've used before where you slice off, you go into the woods far, deep enough so that it's, you're not hooking off any kind of like branches from the side of the road, but you, pull off branches from some of the pine trees and attach them to the back of the cart. And then let oh, those- Oh, as a sweeper. Yeah, as a sweeper. So it's gonna sweep the tracks behind you as nice. you, you move along. And you know as well, with any kind of fresh snowfall, that'll, that'll cover it up pretty quickly. Um, yeah, and sick. That's what you have at the back of your cart now, I'll say. You have some um, some ferns. Some kind of, yeah. not ferns, but um, yeah, branches from pine trees. But, uh, yeah. Pine. It's probably like pine trees or something. Yeah, yeah. They're just kind of raking, raking the, the snow behind you. Yeah. Cool. Nice. nice. Cool. So but... hopefully, uh, hopefully you can't uh, get around that one. We'll see. It's definitely probably giving you some time. Um, yeah. Cool. Right. Would uh, like to cast the spell. I don't know yeah. if this is going to work, mm -hmm. but I wish to try. I want Go to use Nystal's magic aura. Okay. Change uh, the mask to Wisteria's aura because I am guessing he ah. can track me some way. Yeah. So I'm hoping that maybe if I hide it, he'll be like, oh, maybe she's separated. You know, I'm hoping he's dumb. Okay, so let me let me, let me me see that spell. I'm going to have a look at that. I don't know if I can cast it on myself. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. Magic aura. Let me just see. Yeah, let me see. So, you place an illusion on a creature, an object you touch. Yeah, you can do that for yourself then. Um, Mission spells reveal fo Oh, that is that. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. Yeah. So, the effect lasts for... You 24 cast a, hours. Yeah. Um, if you cast a but spell... But if I cast it on myself for 30 days, mm. uh, then it won't... Um, it will never, like, leave this. Wow. Okay, it so do you want to... Like, are you going to, for the time that you've traveled, traveled two days, do you want to mark off a second level spell if you want to cast that every single day? Okay, so you, I'll leave you keep track of that, like a, a tally for each day um, that you use it. And you can let me know when you hit 30 days. But yeah, you can you can just, so you'll be down a second level spell slot every day, Yeah. but you can yeah. absolutely do that. that. That is a fantastic idea. That's brilliant. That's really Thank good. You. That's, Thank that's you. A, yeah. That's super cool. I'm hoping that that will work. Yeah, no, you just gives them completely false information. So wherever, Perfect. if they try to scry on you, use any kind of magic to locate you, they're not going to be able to. I'm so smart. clever. Damn. Uh, thank you. <laughs> so I'll be casting a nice doll's magic. Or you got it. Finally. Mm -hmm. You've already done it for two weeks. No, no, two days. It it's been two days so far. Um, oh. Yeah, it takes yeah. two weeks to get to Grimvold. Yeah, you haven't gotten there yet, but we'll we'll be doing a little bit of a traveling montage now in this in this game. So. <laughs> oh yeah. 
But, uh, uh, yeah. Nice. Uh, that is what I wish to do. And mm -hmm. essentially, the small square of silk is essentially just what I had in my bag because I ripped up my top a couple weeks ago. <laughs> nice. um, cool, cool. So it's still there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think the only thing Wisteria would probably be doing is pulling, uh, pulling out her exalted book of deeds mm -hmm. and realizing she can't read anymore and just be there like. <sighs> mm -hmm. Yeah, your your vision is a little funky, but anytime you do want to read, you always have those eye drops available. You have two sets of them, which will clear up your vision for for about. An yeah, hour I'm I'm sure Rail would have given you the eye oh drops. God, I got eye drop. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. So basically the eye drops will give you like clear vision for a couple hours at a time, but I don't know if they're only like a one, one Yeah, time they'll use be a one time use. So you have two uses of them. I think you have two sets of the eye drops. Yeah. Um and each one will give you two hours of uh yeah. But um yeah. If you want to read uh, at the moment you can. Um but as far as you know, this book you've definitely cracked at this point. The next yeah. section will open whenever you uh, conduct some sort of act of... Mm. No, it was yeah. pretty much Mysteria testing whether or not she could still see. Yeah, yeah, no, sure I'll just... do that every every half an hour. She'd just mm -hmm. be like, maybe my eyesight's back. And she would check the her book. But no, there's no use in using those, mm. those eye drops right now. She'll continue to be blurry. You got it. For the time being, yeah, they're, they're, they're still a little fuzzy. And your head still kind of aches a little bit. You have a, you have a kind of a scar on the side of your head now you can feel that kind of crispy scab forming like under your hair at the stage as well if you scratch your head a little bit like little bits of flakes of blood will still come out it's gonna take a while for it to heal completely but um yeah you i'm glad my pain is entertaining <laughs> yes. very the wolf just starts. <laughs> I'm so glad to have him back. <laughs> An older brother and a younger sibling. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> May I request? Yeah, absolutely. Um, while we are traveling, I know it's only been two days, but hmm. for the past two days, can she be trying to get some souls out at the lap? Yeah, you can be like tweak him with it a little bit. So we will yeah. give me give me a religion check. See if you can tap into it. Uh, a see what you can. Yeah, see if you can figure out how to use this holy relic. Uh, unnatural twenty. Wow, the DC was a twenty. So <laughs> with that, you uh, you do you start to tap into it. You attune to it over the hour that you've been with it initially and during that time you slowly begin to learn it's really complex language and what you know is the sword is both the key and the lock for storing um souls into this thing um but you slowly slowly over time uh start to meditate with it ponder on this lamp <clears throat> try to see what's inside there and how you can open it up possibly from the inside if possible um, and as you delve into this lamp it's like this vortex of swirling souls the vortex made out of this green fire constantly burning them punishing them just leaving them in this eternal torture um, and you feel the pain of every single soul inside there, just begging to be free. And ah. you think that if you can overclock this with enough uh, arcane energy or religious energy from some sort of deity or, or, or other, another religious item, if you could just Right now, there is there is a, a ceiling, a binding on this uh, on this lamp um, that can only be opened with the, the sword. And the binding, it's not magical. It's this, it's it's been put upon this thing through a religious ritual of some sort, and it's been put on there by a, a deity. 
So you would need the power of another deity probably to, to overclock this thing, but if you could charge it with enough holy energy, you might be able to um, might be able to bust a couple of souls out. That's fine. She's she's just she's gonna look down at her um the the planchette that she made using mother doughs. Just to be like No, I shouldn't maybe I won't use that. And she's just gonna hopefully find some another deity along the way. Yeah. If you can think find something of equal power, and if those two forces were to collide, they might both be destroyed in the process. Okay. Something oh, you can take mine. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh shit! Tear is. Oh yeah, we have Tear. Yeah. Tyr, oh god, okay. Tear technically isn't a god. No, he's just kind of a homie. He's very powerful. He's just, a homie. <laughs> <laughs> he's just a bro. I mean, yeah. You could have um, a small look at it. Yeah, it can. Actually, can I do that? Can I Can I go up to Shahil and just be like. Just speak uh, into my chest. <laughs> Sorry, hitting the chest piece with the, the lamp. Just your ears knock, out, and now knock on the glass the bit and be like, knock, 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 anyone in? <laughs> um, no, she, he's, she's gonna go up to Shahil and be like, um, <laughs> hey, um, can I, it, this may sound a bit weird, I think it may not as be as weird as watching me drink baby juice, but, um, <laughs> can I, if it's okay, if, if I could have a little bit of Tears time. I just want to ask him something, if that's okay. Oh yeah, I can try and wake the fucker up, but you know, you never know with him. But yes. That, that's all I ask. Just try. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna try and call the bitch out. <laughs> all right. Um. What are you What are you saying to the bitch? I am <laughs> saying. Uh. I'm saying. Hello, my dear amazing tour. Oh, my savior. Uh, somebody wish to speak with you, so please do come out. No. <laughs> All right, give, yeah. me, give me a persuasion <laughs> check. <laughs> a charisma check? Uh, persuasion check. Oh, <laughs> okay. Let's see. <laughs> I, well, I got on that one. That no, one? Uh, He's like, so. are you fucking serious? Like, I'm, not, I'm, not, like, so I'm not on call. Like, 24-7, I'm sleeping here, I'm recharging my powers, I just fucking, like, what do you want me to do? Talk to one of your friends? Yeah, she wants to talk to you, come on now. I'm a fucking fail I'm not a fucking, like, talk show host. Well, you have no friends, so I thought that maybe this would be nice for you to, you know, finally talk with someone. <laughs> I've got you, don't I? And if I wanted to talk to you, I would. Me? But I don't want to talk with you. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> like to sleep, old man. Yeah, fuck Sheesh. it. That's what I thought. <laughs> he's just gonna turn to Quill and be like, Nah, sorry, he... He's being a... Being a pain. You just hear him rolling over in your head, like this massive mountain toppling over, like to roll over and, <laughs> and go back to sleep again. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's okay. He's he's probably busy. It's it's fine. Oh yeah, he's busy wasting his fucking ass away by just sleeping. <laughs> but, <you know. laughs> I can try again some other time for you, Quill. If that's okay, I, I don't want to trouble you. I know he's probably very tired. You got your roof. Like you have your roof. Is that not good enough? Shut up, old man, please. <laughs> I was just talking to you. It's just. <clears throat> <laughs> like, I love them. <laughs> <laughs> but, but are you just trying to look at the lamp? Are you, what, are, what are you doing with it? Um, it, it seems to be like a, a power cap of some kind. I feel like if I, if I, I had a, someone uh, stronger who could like overload it, I could probably break whatever's holding everyone inside. I got um, oh. Abel's inside, so um, I really miss him. I want well, Grok is very strong. Can he just, you know, twist it open? I'm no, it needs strong. to be like, you are uh, really strong, but yeah. it, it's it's like spiritual energy, and Grog is physically strong. It's ghost oh. stuff, Grog. Yeah, I can. They can punch ghosts. You can <laughs> punch ghosts, that's true, but I feel like th th this is a bit more god level. Oh. Mm. Uh, I understand. Maybe... Thank you for trying. Have a though. small look. 
Maybe. Yeah, if that's okay, Rael. Oh, that's fine, no problem. Um, would I be able to, like, <laughs> pop the cap on my little water skin oh. and just kind of look in the hole, like... You... You awake right now? <laughs> just like, are you there? <laughs> You just hear like a little swirling of water inside the the cap. Oh, wonderful! And uh, he'll um, I lift off the cap and pour it into his hands, so it's like a little little orb floating in his hands. Nice. He'll just kind of like a bit closer to the lamp. Like, do you mind having a look at this, my lady? Just the thing kind of eventually turns into a very small worm of water and starts to wave. Through the air and around the uh, around the actual lamp itself. Hey, give me a charisma check. Oh, uh, twenty-five. Okay. <laughs> well then, uh, this. <laughs> make a contested check. Okay. No, no, not twenty. Wait, no. Do I add my proficiency? No, no, no. Just, just your. Oh, no, no, no. Then, then that's the twenty-one. Sorry. I mean, twenty-one is still pretty high. Um, <laughs> all right. So this water now just slowly investigates the lamp and starts to move in and out. And every time the flames kind of just like hiss and spit at the the worm, and they kind of like dash away, and there's like a tss, like burning wave of water, and they keep a careful distance before slowly circling around the top. And as they move over certain parts of the lamp, uh, different runes start to appear over the lamp before quickly fading. And it starts to focus just around one, and then it burrows deep into one of these runes. Just keeps this, like keeps pushing its head into this rune, and you just start to see this little green crack in the rune before the water <laughs> completely dissipates into steam. And there no. is a oh, no. little green scratch now <coughs> on the uh, <laughs> uh, on the um, on the lamp itself, and from that small crack you see an ember flick off, and Quill you immediately sense that's one soul that just rises up and joins with the other embers of your campfire, and as it goes up into the sky you see. Ain't this image of a little girl's face who has this single horn growing out the side of her head before it goes up into the sky. I just release spirit. Uh, did you did you see her as well? Yeah, I I, I did. She had a little, a little horn. A little horn, yeah. yeah kind of concerning that there's children in here. Well, children I mean, die. Well, children die, yes, but there's, there feels like there's a lot of children in here. Like, she oh. was just one of probably many. It, it felt very clustered in there. What, was she a tiefling? Um, you... Give me a... <clears throat> uh, well, it was Rail and... Um, Quill, who saw this, and Wisteria, so the, the three of you can roll me uh, nature checks. No, sure. actually, no, uh, history checks. History checks. History. Okay. Yeah. I got an 18. Oh. 18? Oh All right. Five? Five? Yeah, no. Okay. A natural 20. A natural 20. <laughs> All right, so, Rail, you're, you're pretty sure it was some sort of tiefling, and you're not wrong. Because a lot of tieflings originate from, well, some some tieflings anyway, um, originate from being part Feylord. Um, but but Quill, you know, um, from rumors and other things that Feylords, if they, if a Feylord has a child with another Feylord, they'll come out this beautiful divine creature, similar to something of like an Elytrin or some other kind of high elf. Um, with very beautiful um, features, and they have the ability to, to change into a more bestial form. But at, when a Fey Lord has a partner with um, uh, a non Fey Lord, 
um, those powerful Phalor traits, uh, they become in, there's an imbalance there, and the the kind of mortal traits that mix with them, they can't um, control them, and they turn into these wild beasts. They take all different shapes and forms. Like Wisteria has wings and horns and a tail. Ghostly has these satyr legs and horns. Uh, and they, they often have this kind of bestial quality, and they would be considered a type of tiefling. There's other ways tieflings can be born, but it's typically from some sort of unstable uh, magic inside them. So you could you reckon she's a type of tiefling of sorts? Um, she will just kind of look like scratching the back of her head. Um, she's kind of a tiefling, not re from what I remember reading when I was, I would say younger, but I'm three hundred, so I don't know what younger would mean anymore. Um, uh, the fey lords when they have with other fey lords, a bit like what. Um, uh, Zavion, uh, he he came out really wonderful, beautiful, lovely. Um, but if if a fey lord with um, a non fey lord like Zavion with his wife, um, they would have more uh, m not monstrous qualities, but more uh, the the fey lord aspect would be a bit too much. So they also would come be, out a little bit a, weird. A bit, yeah, a bit ugly. <laughs> For some. The wolf just cuddles in too. Just. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh <no>. dog. <laughs> We're definitely looking at ourselves like. Not not you, Wisteria. It's more like you have different traits. Like um, you're a type of tiefling, but you're not like a typical tiefling. Like you have wings, but no, not all tieflings have wings. It's yeah, not that sure thing. They don't have wings. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, she's the first tiefling I've seen with wings. Yeah, like, um, ghostly. She she has different feet. She's like but a goat. Yeah, a bit like a goat. But, like, different types of tieflings, different types of fey lords. There's just a lot of genetics going on, and it's a bit mm. too much. Um, but, yes, the girl that just went up to the grass fields is a type of tiefling. Mm. Well, I'd rather have a, you know, a friend like a... Like the one that you have, Rael. Mine is just a bit annoying, really. Friend. <laughs> well, <Zero. laughs> I mean, he's just kind of like whatever water is left. I guess he tried to like control yeah. the steam if he could to sort of bring her back, like oh, waving it away. Kind of a thing. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, he's kind of got the orb again, and I guess knowing Demu, she's. She always comes out as like a little worm, like a water worm, and just kind of wiggles at Shahil, like, hello, kind of a thing. <laughs> and he just kind of holds up the orb in front of Shahil, like, um, this is actually Demu, my, my deity. Oh. He's a bit small at the moment, though. <laughs> Weird. He's gonna kind of, I don't know if he can, he's gonna try and like, Put one like finger down. You know when like you want oh, yeah. to like step up on your on your on your finger. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he's gonna do that and see if like a, a tendril comes out to like touch it, give like a water tendril. A little thing. handshake. Give me a yeah. persuasion check. Okay. Oh, okay. You're gonna persuade the lady. <laughs> of course, she's a the big lady. A <laughs> That is a. Oh my god, what is that? What's eight plus eight? Uh, sixteen. Uh, Oh, is then it then it's sixteen plus eighteen? Okay. Wait, what? Uh, no, wait. Eighteen. Like, wait. Wait, what? My persuasion. Yeah. I add I add my my persuasion thing to. Oh, your proficiency. So your proficiency is a. Uh... So I don't add that. I think I think it should be all written down no. already. So. My persuasion proficiency. It's it's eight. Yeah. So eight plus whatever you rolled on the dice. Yeah, and I rolled eight. I I rolled eighteen. Oh, you rolled oh, eight. Oh, oh, uh, oh, yeah. Okay, so it's, it's twenty six then. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Crazy. So, <laughs> <laughs> so as you kind of hold out your finger, there's just kind of like a little tendril kind of steps out, almost like a little leg kind of reaching out and kind of taps your finger a little bit before stepping on over onto your finger, and now there's just these two little legs uh, coming out of the little ball of water. And they kind of shuffle along your finger a little bit. Oh, and then he's kind of, gonna, 
Oh yeah. No, no. Uh, he's gonna kind of like take his hand up a bit, so she's a bit higher. Then he's like gonna like do it like a, a how do you say bow bow bow? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's just gonna be like, well, hello, my lady. It is nice to officially meet. As you do, kind of move your finger as well. Just a few little droplets of water, like kind of fall behind and have to catch up with the the orb. <laughs> and uh, it just so cute. it just kind of quivers a little bit on the surface. Kind of again, like reshuffling their feet. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna kind of hold around it a bit more carefully, like you know, with his hands like together. Like, oh, I'm sorry, but it's nice, it's nice to, it's nice to meet you. You know, two little hands come out of the sphere and they just kind of slap the the thighs, just like. <clears throat> <laughs> just gives a little, little shrug and a bow before then dispersing to balls and then reforming to like a little worm again, wrapping around your wrist and kind of going up past your neck and through your hair before eventually oh. then darting like very quickly back into the into the chair. Oh my. She's a, she's a fun one, isn't she? Uh, y- yes, she is, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Just kind of like got his hands out at the ready in case the orb falls or anything. Like he, he definitely <laughs> trusts Shahil with Demu. <laughs> But uh, of course, is still cautious in case she wants to return or, or anything like that. But it's just funny seeing her interact with someone else because she's he's never seen her do that. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> it's been a very like solo experience <laughs> talking with Demu. Um, it's just very happy. She's just kind of watching and just laughing and looking at this little worm, just just kind of making her way around, mm. investigating. I guess. <laughs> yeah, y- just you know. Fun. I can't, I can't really offer you mine in return because, you know, he's sleeping. Immediately he's already <laughs> up, like standing up, and turns yeah. towards you, Rael. And its head just kind of like tilts a little too much. Uh, what, a dog? <laughs> <laughs> no. What? Uh, dog looks like dog. Dog looks like Rael. Dog. <laughs> oh. Well, I... He, he's just kind of sitting there, looking at Dog, looking at him, looking back at Dog, and just kind of tilting his head as well, like, I was under the impression that you weren't too fond of me, actually. <laughs> Didn't like oh. me too much at the beginning. Dog? Oh. T- yes, yes. I, I remember when you first created Dog, and uh, I tried to him but he didn't seem very fond of that idea <laughs> oh dog you better be nice now and he's gonna like gently kick his like gut like dog's butt the dog kind of get kind of gets up and kind of looking at you Rael continues to move forward towards you and then it like just climbs up onto your body kind of goes up oh. over your shoulder hops up off it hops down by the frozen river and then starts biting at the river just like breaking bits of ice off and eating them and you immediately realize that they weren't quite looking at you their eyes are a bit askew and kind of looking in every different <laughs> direction, and they just immediately go to the river and just start eating and munching on the ice. I have. Uh, <laughs> he's kind of looking over his shoulder, watching Dog, just like I have been well and truly rejected here. <laughs> that's, well, that's a little hurtful. I, I, I think he's just very, very stupid. You know, you know, he he is just a dog. <laughs> I mean, well, he's yeah, he's a dog, but he is your do- your dog, so. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, it's just, it's, he's just going. <laughs> yeah. They're just kind of sliding <laughs> on the ice, like paws all outstretched, just like paws digging into the, the ice, trying to hold on. <laughs> and can Celtius, um, our baby, baby raptor, mm-hmm. velociraptor, uh, sorry, micro raptor, um, she's, they're probably going to see this new acquaintance that looks just as dumb as them. And it's going to, if it's okay, uh, they could go on a play date. Yeah, absolutely. Like Celtius there definitely just like Celtius. dashes straight up out of your out of your top and just scampers along the the snow, buries into the snow, then pops back out and scampers onto the ice and is slipping all over the place as well. Grabs onto like the rigid um, geometrical wolf and starts to climb onto its back, holding on. And the pair of them <laughs> just start rolling on the ice, like tumbling around, scrapping, throwing each other off themselves, and then hopping on the the other one, just trying to get on top. And they're just yeah, they're just scrapping there over in the corner. Oh, that's you nice. both be careful now. If you want to come back to heat up, come back to the fire. 
Oh, I hope I will. I don't think mine should be heated up. Oh, definitely <laughs> not. I think dogs should stay uh, yeah. nice and cold. Yeah, <laughs> but, you know, it's been a, it's a fun experience. Well, <laughs> he, he's a bit he's a bit awkward with it, and he's like just like like leaning down to like rail to like the water skin and just yeah, that's you know, nice meeting you. <laughs> At this stage as well, like over to the, towards the woods that Trill went towards, there is this like cracking of wings. Um, for oh. a brief moment, you see a pair of black wings come down into the woods in that direction. Uh, someone give me, give me a perception check for me. Uh, actually, me. Wisteria. Oh yeah, yeah, go for it. Fuck. No, Wisteria. No, I mean, Wisteria has the highest perception here, I think, so, so you give me a perception okay. But she's check. blind. True, oh. but you would have heard it, but uh, you give me a perception <laughs> check with disadvantage. Ah. Ha ha. Fuck you, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't give it the blind death! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, I'm gonna throw this at you. <laughs> oh, wait, no! Oh. <laughs> what do you get? 21. 21? You're like. There's just no. With advantage, you ought to be close to 30. Wow. Well, disadvantage. No, no, yeah, no, yeah, with, with advantage, advantage it'd be higher. With advantage, it would have been close to 30. I'm at 21. So, 21. with that, you, you kind of second guess yourself. Like, you're like, is that? It is. And you're 100% sure you saw a horse, like a black horse with wings, land down into the woods with a rider on top. Um, guys? So yeah. I might be, you know, like halfway there to being blind, and uh, you know, I know I had a very bad concussion. I mean, I might be still bleeding, uh, but there's a horse, like a big black horse that just landed very close to us. Where's the horse? Close to us. Um, yeah, about thirty feet, forty feet away. About oh. thirty feet, forty feet away. <laughs> 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 Would Quill have known that Trill went that direction? Yeah. Uh, she's gonna make a break for it. She's gonna yeah, run Yeah, 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 sure. You can go sprinting down, slipping along the ice, and eventually slide down into the woods. Uh, to see now Trill uh, just stands there, kind of the hands behind their back, looking up uh, as this uh, rider's now kind of just um, gently gliding down through the trees, uh, navigating through the branches. You can see there's another uh, black kenku, raven kenku, riding on top of this pegasus, uh, covered in black armor, a hood up, a massive black sword on their back, and a bow uh, wrapped around the other shoulder. Um, and they gently land down, they puff of wind, Billows like it billows up around the, the horse as it kind of just gives one last flap of its wings, raising up a bunch of powdered snow all around, and blinds you from from Trill for just a moment. And as she's in that small vortex of snow, she turns to you and gives like a very gentle smile. You're off them again. He's mm. not. I need to train. What? Well, well, we'll miss you. So you be you be safe. Um, she's very much trying not to cry because this is like she's going off to train. What to train me? She's kind of like looking at the ground as well, just like playing with her top a little bit, like not quite sure what to say. So instead, just like with the the, the speed that Trill has as well, and it, it always shocks you where she's just there all of a sudden, then immediately like right in front of you and just grabs you in a hug, lifts you up. Um, squeezing you as tightly as you can. Um, I'll be back. Just okay. I owe favors. Okay, you you be safe. And she's gonna give her a final big squeeze and a kiss on the cheek, and allow her to go. Oh wait. May I, may I do something? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, 
She's gonna do something very silly. Mm -hmm. uh, she's gonna sneak the orc alarm into cool, into Troll's um, <laughs> hand. Okay. <laughs> okay. I she's like, mm. she's like tearing up, but she's like trying to be like, whatever you, whatever you're around, doing <laughs> this. <laughs> she's trying to make it very obvious, but be sneaky at the same time. Got it. But yes, Troll now has the orc alarm. So as you do, kind of pam it. In their hand, they kind of give you give you a nod and a smile and strokes your cheek before quickly dash away, not like wanting to spend any more time kind of focusing on this and just like up back soon. They hop up on the back of the horse. Um, the rider kind of just looking at you. You can see as well this rider has like a, a black a black masquerade mask that comes up into two big black wings uh, over their face. Their beak as well, now that you're closer and you can see them a bit more clearly, has scars all over it. Uh, parts of their black feathers have gone grey, other ones have gone white. Uh, and they look like a real rough, gnarly uh, war veteran. She's gonna give a little wave to both of them. And then eventually they Take a step back. Yeah, step back, the wings go off again. <laughs> big cloud of snow billows up around you again and through the kind of snow you just hear kind of squeeze the, the, the ring again <laughs> and then these two little green eyes light up in the, the snowy cloud that billows around them and just like orc alarm orc alarm <laughs> and uh, they take off all of a sudden like at an incredible speed um, she's gonna watch as they disappear she's gonna make sure that they they they're out of her sight before she walks off. Give me, give me a history check. A history check? Oh mm. my fuck. Okay. I hope you fail. Sixteen. You've heard um, Trill occasionally bring these people up, um, and you know them to be the Valkyries of Yomna. And they came to her once before when she was away, and they taught her some things. And they asked her to continue coming back so they can continue to train her from time to time. Um, but they're a group of uh, Raven Kenku um, that work for a person called Odin. They're Odin's ravens. Uh. Right. Eventually they take off, see them becoming one with the night sky, and then snow starts to fall slowly, clouds come in, you know what we're seeing. She's going to like roughly clean her eyes, um, big sniff, uh, and then she's gonna walk back to the others. You got it. Yeah. And she kind of scampered past, uh... Both uh, Celtius and uh, and Dog, Dog just kind of still scrapping, <laughs> getting more and more tired as the the night goes on. But you kind of <laughs> nuzzle down as well again with everyone else by the fire, and uh, yeah. you can continue to now eat as as food's prepared by Oscar. And if there is anything else you want to do, uh, let me know. But if not, we can continue. Uh, the night can come to an end, and we can move on to the the traveling that uh, has to come now. Travel montage! Travel montage! <laughs> Travel montage! Travel time. I guess, like, whilst they're sitting there having food, they'll just discuss, uh, Bill's uh, departure again, mm. make sure Bill's okay and everything. Mm. Um, knowing Rael, seeing as it is starting to snow and he knows how the weather can change very quickly in Jotunheim, he'll try to usher people into the tents and into the carriage just so don't get overloaded with snow mm -hmm. and that's it absolutely perfect um yeah i, I do want to do one single thing before we just go all inside the, the yeah tents. yeah of course uh, i whisper it would just kind of be like if i need to speak to you real oh yeah sure what is it so um uh, you're you're also not 
that, that, that great that scene. Um, so <laughs> I, I wondered how you fight. Um, with, with a big target on my back, and I am a little bit scared. Before yeah. it was fine, because I could just fly away, but now I can't see where I'm exactly flying, and I'm a little bit... Oh. Uh, I, I understand. It's, it's very scary. Without eyes? Cause like... Of course you can. Absolutely. Of course it's something that does take a lot of time, which isn't really on our side, but sure, there's somewhere on the way that may be able to help you out a little better. We'll find somewhere to help fix your eyes. Don't worry. Yeah. Mine got fixed, so yours will too. I do not wish to die. <laughs> I'm not going to die. Just kind of like, um, I guess having a, a hand on her, her shoulder, just kind of, just looking very, um, empathetic. Thing. Uh, he he definitely knows <laughs> how how she's feeling. Mm. Um, most bringing a hand up to her cheek to give. A, almost like a very parently up. <laughs> like, you are not going to die. We're all here to help each other, okay? Don't let you die. Don't worry. You don't have to do it by yourself. Okay? Fight with you. We'll help you out. Okay? Don't worry too much. Get a good night's rest. Sort it out on the way to Crimrod, okay? I miss I, I go to sleep now. I'll try to, and hopefully not have any nightmares. Please. <laughs> That's Bye. Dumb. Just, yeah. Bye. <laughs> All right. Eventually, the uh, campfire begins to die down. You'll retire to your beds for the night. Um, I'll say dog eventually just disappears back into your chest and uh, Celsius um, cuddles up to you Quill in the night absolutely freezing now this lizard is not used to the cold um, oh, definitely not <laughs> yeah. uh, they had a great time uh, regardless but um, uh, yeah you'll retire for the night uh, get a good night's sleep for the first time in a while and uh, just listen to the very light snowfall hitting the tents um, as you drift off to sleep. And eventually, the morning comes, and uh, you have the whole day ahead of you. You can start heading towards Grimwald. And as you do as well, you can see the tracks that you've left behind are completely covered by this fresh um, snowfall. And uh, yeah, the road is yours to, to head down. Um, so you start packing up your things, going through the regular routine. I'm sure Rail has probably drilled it into you now to have a very strict schedule oh, yeah. for getting everything <laughs> packed up, wiped down, like make sure that no mold will form on these things. Everything's loaded back into the wagon. Uh, everything is cleared up. There's no trace of a campfire being here. Um, and uh, yeah, you all start heading on your way. So, the way uh, we'll do this as well, you have 10 days to get to where you need to go. Um, during those 10 days, I, I've got some kind of just random things that can happen along the way. Um, so, each day I will ask uh, someone to roll me a d10. Um, so whoever wants to roll it first, and that will Me. determine... Yeah, go <laughs> That was so quick. <laughs> you got it! I mean, first come, first serve. So yeah, give me a, roll me a d10. Tell me what you Yeah. D10 time. Two. My favorite number. Number two! <laughs> so, this is after, like, a bunch of, uh, fresh snowfall. Uh, yeah. the skies are clear. And for the first time, it's always been a bit kind of blizzardy since you arrived in the Jotunheim. But now with the clear blue skies in that blue sky ahead of you miles and miles off in the distance you see this very thin sliver of bluer light coming down from the skies 
down past the mountain ridges ahead of you. Oh. Right in the direction you're heading. It's a very thin beam. And anyone who wants to can make a religion check. See if they understand what that beam is. If Rhea... Please. Yeah. Please. Oh, I don't wanna. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't get it. I don't <laughs> understand. <laughs> It's like, it's yeah, like religion check. Uh, religion check, yeah. Oh. Like to do one as well, actually. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Rail... everyone but fucking say. <laughs> Rail, uh, you can make uh, you can make with advantage because you're from Yuen Man. Oh, sick. You don't need that. <laughs> Stop rolling things. I rolled an eight. Eight, cool. It's a nice blue little beam coming out of the sky. <laughs> Never seen a blue beam come out of the sky before, but uh, just, dang, I love blue beams. <laughs> we stare at Hill, just like, oh my god, that's so. Weird. Yeah, there's two of you, just like, oh. how bizarre. Just <laughs> <laughs> looking up at the sky, like, those are really unique fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> what's a what's a firework? Oh, it's oh. like it's really um, bright light. Oh, it's like this. Can I just shoot like a, a nice little fireball? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like this, see, see? And oh. now, uh, Blight knows your location. Oh. <laughs> no! Yeah, no! I was no! thinking. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Goes off, explodes in the sky like a flare. <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I, I got yeah. a 19 on the roll. 19. Uh, so yeah. you would have known about the old story of Nimmer's Well, um, which is this river that comes down from the heavens and is the first river, and it's where all rivers branch off from, around Jotunheim and the rest of Kostar. Also, mm -hmm. um, he's going to do the whole dad mode and look at Wisteria with dumbfounded eyes like, <coughs> Why did you just send off a flare? Yeah, why did you do that? I wish I had wanted to know what a firework was. I could I have just described it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I never asked for a demonstration. I thought he would be a visual learner. Sarah, <laughs> <laughs> we, we know more than anyone else that we are on the run right now. If it, if it helps, I'm hiding my aura. Shall we, is not actually, I'm sure it helps, exactly but still, a flare is very obvious. Well, well does, do, do you think he'll just follow the, like, the explosion? As you say Don't that, worry. you hear a... When you look yes. behind you, off in the distance on a mountainside, a small avalanche has just kind of tumbled down the side of the mountain. I think we should run. We should, we should definitely, definitely go. We're never doing. Uh, don't do that again, please. We're I'm gonna hit the reins. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, it's a really clear day, and you just fired a flare up in the sky. Um, but yeah. You did it to demonstrate it, fire. But uh. Jerry is very smart. I'm not. Okay. <laughs> no, no, that's totally fair. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, they will be aware of your location. But yeah. yeah. You, uh, we, yeah, sorry. Wisaria just shot that up, like, up in the sky, right? Yeah, like, yeah, straight yeah. up? Mm. It goes up so 120 that... feet, I think. Okay, so... No, I'm gonna say it out loud, I'm not just gonna do it. <laughs> he has grown a bit. <laughs> She's just gonna be like, uh... You know, if I... Is this still have some, uh, explosive arrows? If I take one and shoot it in, like, another direction, do you think that would fool him? Or should I just not? I mean, it might be worth a shot to give us a little bit more time if you yeah. can shoot it far enough. Maybe, oh, yeah. uh, well, he'll just kind of look around the area and see which way would be a good way to go if there's like another forked road or something like that to do a similar yeah. give me a, uh, maneuver. You, you give me a survival check. Survival? Um, yeah. And based on your survival ah, check, on the floor. see <laughs> Wait, where's my dice gone? We, we could also maybe just shoot the areas of 
players off in multiple directions, then you won't know which one to chase. I, I, I don't know where yeah. my dice is going. Yeah. I think it's a little bit too much worse, because then mm. he'll he'll know we're distracting him. No, we don't him. want to make it that obvious, you know? I'm just going to get another one out. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Take your time. <laughs> I'll find it in a minute. We, we still, um, I think you just need to, you know, sit down for a bit and just chill. Um, I got a, I got a 16. 16, okay, same as before. Yeah. You wait until you get to a crossroads. In the meantime, um, Shihil, you know there's a crossroads coming up. Uh, mm. You can guide Shihil as well, telling him kind of which way you want to shoot it, so it's going to be going down the path where you are going to try to make it look like you're going. So Shihil, I'll get you to make a deception check for me. Okay. Uh, deception... Is that, Would I be able to cast uh, guidance with that as well? Uh, yeah, you can, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so you can add a d4 to whatever this is, and you're going to be making a, a deception check. Deception, do I? Yeah, okay. I, <laughs> <laughs> I think you're pretty good okay. at this. Um, that is... What Make sure to add a, roll a d4 as well, and add that to that. Yes, so... 10... Twenty-four. Uh, okay. Amazing. Wow. Yeah, yeah, but deception is twelve. <laughs> okay. So with that, and with your sniper feet as well, yeah. this arrow goes like a few miles down the road. It just keeps going until uh. eventually there's just an explosion in like like ninety degrees off from where you guys are now heading, uh, and it goes off. There's an explosion. Uh, well, well away from where you are going to be going, and you're hoping now that that will distract him. And now with Rail also backing up the cart, and and reversing again, and then do the same maneuver, you're hoping that'll be enough. And there's no snowfall today, but you're hoping maybe tonight there might be more uh, to cover some of these tracks. But um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully all goes well. Um, nice. I'll say in that time as well, just to make sure, to ensure that your Grog will help with lifting the actual cart itself and Oscar and that the rest of you just try to lift the cart over to get a new set of tracks on the back of the, that fork and continue up. Um, and you continue on your way. Um, <sighs> but, uh, yeah. Yeah. So here to save the day once again. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. So you mark up that arrow, that explosion arrow. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you continue on pretty uneventful then, other than that, throughout the day. Um, clear skies all the way, and as the sun starts to set in the distance, you do still see that blue beam coming up from that orange sky. Um, unchanging, just flickering ever so slightly. Like whilst we're sitting around a campfire, you know what? It'll be Rails' turn to cook this evening. <laughs> I peel some potatoes with peel a pot. Some taters. Uh, <laughs> some taters. And uh, he'll probably explain uh, about the Mimi as well, and that's where that light comes from. And sort of, I, I guess, explaining a little bit of the history. Uh, maybe that it's literally a beam. Is it a beam that's been there like this whole time? Like it never really, it might flicker, but it's always been it's, there. It's it's a river. It's a magical river. It's just a river. That comes it's a river. Okay. Out of the sky, yeah. Um, right, right, okay. Falls okay. down from the heavens. And uh, it's always there, yeah. On a clear night, you can see it. Uh, as long as there's no mountains or anything in your way, uh, you'll be able to see that thin blue line that comes down. Mm. I'll just explain it a little bit of story time. Was, was yeah. No, while, while you're talking and you're getting into the story, I'll get you to make another history check, see if there's any other bits of knowledge that you, you know oh, about this. Oh, sick, okay. So as you start to recount it, other bits of information will probably come back to you. Uh, a 17. Okay. So as you're telling the story, you do recall as well there was a storm giant uh, called Odin, uh, who went to Mimmer's Well once, and he sacrificed an eye in Mimmer's Well um, to gain knowledge from the well. Um, and later in history as well, there was a another giant um, that eventually became a god, a very popular god here in Jotunheim, 
uh, called Thoros. Just basically, he's Thor. <laughs> <laughs> he's the, the gods of the skies, and he's the gods of um, you know, storms. But he built. He had, he had several labors uh, in his time. Uh, these kind of impossible tasks that he achieved in his final task was to build a contraption uh, with his hammer to build this device, this temple that could channel Mimir's well and spread it all around um, the rest of Gostar and the rest of Jotunheim. And in that final labor, um, as he opened the gates for all of the rivers, they washed him away and they destroyed him. Um, and after that he ascended to godhood after completing these tasks and he now controls the skies and protects that river mm. ah. cool <laughs> cool cool. <laughs> yeah, cool cool amazing <laughs> a little bit of Jotunheim lore for you guys <laughs> <laughs> Story time. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, feed everyone. Yeah. What are you? What are you cooking? Potatoes and, and uh, what? What else goes with the potatoes? Oh, okay. We're going there. I think. Just, just out of curiosity. Um, um, I guess for him, he's very much can make a meal out of whatever he has. Hmm. Um, it'll be a very. It'd probably be a very simple like meat and potato with a few herbs in there just something really really hearty and if they have some bread rations as well mm. so use that um, I, I assume this is sort of a very uh, kind of traditional-esque dish mm. for this mm. region they I guess they are the home of casseroles and stews and mm. shit like that um, so yeah he'd be making that it'll be a lot nicer than the one in the tavern but <laughs> <laughs> yeah absolutely <laughs> This is how it's supposed to taste like. <laughs> mm. Hell yeah. It's very, very hearty. Very, mm. maybe have some like, um, even some like mint and thyme in there. Just mm, nice. very hearty food. Almost almost like an Irish stew. Oh yeah. It's <laughs> just very, very, <laughs> very hearty. Brilliant. Put some hairs on your chest. So. Nice. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, cool, lovely. So yeah, big full meal, a nice and good bit of grub on you and again continue on your way there was no attacks in the night you're all safe and uh, again it's another day continuing along on your path to um to your first stop which will be um uh grimwald so continue on next day uh, i guess i'm gonna roll another d10 it's now the fourth day of travel Good for you. i'm gonna roll a d10 Three. Three. Oh, we got up in, in order here. That's kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you continue on the day, pretty uneventful, pretty pretty chill. Um, when eventually on the side of the road, you would see. Um, you hear it before you see it. This crackling and this crunching, and for a second your heart gives out because you think it is. Um, it's um, blight waiting for you. That kind of that crackling of electric of electricity. Uh, and as you veer around the corner, very cautiously, you would see a pile of lightning just crackling in space, and two glowing blue eyes in the center of the lightning. Just kind of looking down at the floor and it's constantly shifting and changing form trying to take that and like it occasionally takes the shape of a very very rough humanoid shape before dispersing again and crackling just up on the side of a cliff and it's darting around that cliff face looking down to the ground and the lightning shoots into the ground and causing rocks and boulders to, to fly up into the air does Quill recognize the lightning uh, you can give me a arcana check. Yeah, yeah, do I recognize anything from this as well? Yeah, yeah, give me an arcana check, see if you... Jayla's <laughs> <laughs> just gonna look at real just, is there, there's a lot of r weird stuff happening in, in your time. 
Uh, do, do I know what this is? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody can make our This is usual. I don't think just Rail do probably way. would have seen this, but yeah, you can make it an arcana check with Just do it anyway, yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah, Shahil refuses to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> just tell me the information. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna use my inspo just a heads up. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, go for it. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I've got written down that I get both of the bonus wisdom and the rare arcana, mm -hmm. which is plus three. Do I add that to any wisdom? Um, yeah, I think possibly it could be part of your, um, being a cleric. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Yeah, you can add your wisdom as modifier alongside whatever bonus you have uh, for Arcana, too. Yeah. <laughs> Arcana for everybody. Arcana for you. Arcana for you. <laughs> um, I got a 17. 17, okay. Uh, I got a 27. 27, that's pretty good. I got a, I got a 12. You get a 12. <laughs> okay. Um, Rail, no idea what this is. Quill, <laughs> you're like, cool. That's like some sort of sentient lightning. Uh, definitely seems to be, you, you You don't know what it is. You just know it's some sort of living lightning. With Sarah, you're like, immediately, this is this is a lightning elemental. Um, oh, it's an elemental? Yeah. Which are rare. They don't usually come here. They usually exist in the plains of fire and ice and wherever they, they would originate from. They, they exist in the space that you would call the chaos. Like just beyond the chaos, there's these realms where the chaos divides up into sections of pure, like just purely one elemental type. So when you get to the edge of Gostar, uh, flying off into space, um, you know, ships go out that way. There is this. A storm called the chaos where demons and devils come from um, but with Sarah you understand that the um, beyond that chaos there it's a little more controlled and it's not just wild elemental magic all over the place untamed this, it is still wild but there is one plane for water there's one plane for fire and things like that and some wizards uh, tap into those planes. They can summon elementals from those planes, or they can use elementals from those planes to charge magical devices. Um, but ever, like every now and then, uh, some elementals slip through gaps or like portals or slivers that divide this plane and the next, uh, and find their way into this plane of existence. And this one doesn't seem hostile in any way, but um, you know, elementals to be. You, they're just they're they are an element in pure form there yeah and this one is lightning and rail would just look at shahil going i have absolutely no clue what that is it's that it's not normal um we should be kidded I, I don't it? think we I, no i don't think we need to kill it. it it doesn't look like it's really doing much does anyone speak primordial Primordial? No, I only speak um, Sylvan. Let me, let me check. Do I speak Primordial? Good question. Common and infernal, that is. <laughs> well, at the moment, this thing is speaking primordial. It's this this bizarre language where it's just like. Does it look like it's trying to? Because it's staring down at the the floor. Does it look like it's trying to get into something? An inside check. <clears throat> Another just boulder just kind of. It, it kind of a bunch of lightning. Then again, digs into the ground lifts up a chunk of rock and then hurls it off, just missing you guys, and it lands in the snow. Big explosion, big poof with snow. 23. 23. Uh, you can tell, like, it seems to be looking for something. It almost looks like its hands are digging into the ground, throwing rocks away, looking for something. Um, Chloe's gonna jump out of the cart and <laughs> gonna... Narrowly gonna avoid go... some boulders. Yeah, gonna, gonna go help. Just gonna, yeah. like, just, I'll be back in a sec. Mm -hmm. Um, she's gonna take her harp with her. Mm -hmm. Um, she's, she's gonna just put her hands up, like, I'm here to help. 
I'm here to hurt. Right. I'm not to hurt you. So immediately just <laughs> dashes in your direction. Uh, give me a persuasion check. Persuasion. Yeah. Okay. So just wondering if we could take a small break. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we're we'll taking a few Thank minutes. You. Yeah. As soon as oh, hey. you, what did you get? Oh, hold on, give me one second. <laughs> Should have saved your inspiration, huh? A ten. <laughs> you got a ten. Oh no. Yeah. So immediately this lightning just like <laughs> dashes right over to you, takes on this humanoid shape, mm -hmm. and just stands there in front of you, looking at you. It's about ten foot tall. Oh, big boy. And it's just standing there looking down, lightning crackling around its body. She's gonna give like a very timid finger wave. Um, hi, I know we can't really understand each other, so this is absolutely useless in me talking, but she's gonna point at herself um, and then at the lightning and then at the ground. Just uh, try and communicate that she's going to help him or help it and <sighs> leans down its eyes looking at yours now this massive electricity uh, pool swirling around the two beads of light looking at you and the lightning now slowly starts to turn from blue to red um, oh no oh that's a no then <laughs> Um, she is just gonna uh, yell to, to Quill. Oh, cast sorry. Fast You're gonna cast sorry. Friends? Fast Friends. Fast Friends, okay, cool. Uh, so it's gonna make a saving throw, is it? Uh, yes, I believe so. Wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving sorry, throw. Cass, I really interrupted you, Jeff. No, that's okay. <laughs> I, Jahil is just gonna yell to Quill, just maybe he's just flustered. <laughs> maybe, yeah, that's true. Maybe I'm just <laughs> <laughs> You're flirting with lightning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me see your wisdom saving throw. You save. Okay, <clears throat> that is just a ten. Uh, so just to check, yeah, is it my spell DC that he's trying to be? Uh, yeah, your spell DC, exactly. Okay, okay, uh, then he does not be there. Yeah, so with that, immediately just <laughs> calms down, stands back up. The color changes again. Back to me. Amazing! Um, uh, Wisteria's going to put on. Wait, if Wisteria puts on her glasses. Mm -hmm. Can she also write primordial, or can she only be? Give me an arcana check. This is it's not technically what they are used for, but let's see if you can. Let's see if you can tap deep into these glasses and figure out how to do that. A check? Yeah, an arcana check. <laughs> 27? 27. <laughs> Immediately, you kind of start typing it out. You kind of start, like... Like using Google Google Translate, you start to kind of like see what these certain words you want to say would be translated into primordial, and you start to immediately you know kind of write them down in the snow. And I'll leave you think about what you want to write during the little break. So we'll take a small break here. Um, is is half an hour okay? Is that a good time for people? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. okay cool. Yeah. So let's we'll take a little break here. You can think about what you want to write. Uh, what message you want to deliver to this uh, elemental and we'll come back in half an hour so see you see you all then bye 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 bye, bye, -bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>
<laughs> okay. Um, Oscar will um, <laughs> will look at Ghostly and say, uh, "Frog, horse, frog. Do you want a frog, horse? Do you want to go on top of the frog, horse?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you all right, mate? Frog. <laughs> on top, frog. Do you do you hit your head? Oh my God. I will I will go next to Madame Sprout and just put my hands on top of the frog. Safe. Very safe. <laughs> Eternal Oscar right now. <laughs>
Notice that uh, Bubbles like does like a thing where like the, the sides of Bubbles' mouth kind of stretch to the sides and curl downwards, like a. Uh, and you can sense what Bubbles is thinking, like really, you think I'm good at this kind of stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna look at him. I was like, no, but I don't think I'm any better. You really want me to go up to that man? A girl like, oh, it's okay. She wasn't much of a loss. See, see, I can't. Bubbles kind of points inside their mouth. And just, you, you know what Bubbles is saying the whole time, and Bubbles is just trying to communicate, like, I can't even talk. <laughs> I think that's the uh, benefit. Uh, yeah, that's uh, true. Okay. <laughs> Ghostly, I think this might be for you. What's, what's, what's that then? Wait, go, go give Brian a, a hug. Oh, Brian's upset because now it's centers and bits on the floor. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> okay. Um, Oscar will um, <laughs> will look at Ghostly and say, uh, "Frog, horse, frog. Do you want a frog, horse? Do you want to go on top of the frog, horse?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you all right, mate? Frog. <laughs> on top, frog. <laughs> do, you, do you hit your head? Oh my God. I will I will go next to Madame Sprout and just put my hands on top of the frog. Safe. Very safe. <laughs> Eternal Oscar right now. <laughs>
Notice that uh, Bubbles like does like a thing where like the, the sides of Bubbles' mouth kind of stretch to the sides and curl downwards, like a. Uh, and you can sense what Bubbles is thinking, like really, you think I'm good at this kind of stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna look at him. I was like, no, but I don't think I'm any better. You really want me to go up to that man? A girl like, oh, it's okay. She wasn't much of a loss. See, see, I can't. Bubbles kind of points inside their mouth. And just, you, you know what Bubbles is saying the whole time, and Bubbles is just trying to communicate, like, I can't even talk. <laughs> I think that's the uh, benefit. Uh, yeah, uh, that's true. Okay. <laughs> Ghostly, I think this might be for you. What's, what's, what's that then? Wait, go, go give Brian a, a hug. Oh, Brian's upset because now it's centers and bits on the floor. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> okay. Um, Oscar will um, <laughs> will look at Ghostly and say, uh, "Frog, horse, frog. Do you want a frog, horse? Do you want to go on top of the frog, horse?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you all right, mate? Frog. <laughs> on top, frog. <laughs> do, do you hit your head? Oh my God. I will I will go next to Madame Sprout and just put my hands on top of the frog. Safe. Very safe. Eternal <laughs> <laughs> Oscar right now. <laughs>
noticed that uh, Bubbles like does like a thing where like the, the sides of Bubbles' mouth kind of stretch to the sides and curl downwards like a, uh, and you can sense what Bubbles is thinking like, really? You think I'm good at this kind of stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna look at him and I was like, no, but I don't think I'm any better. Do you really want me to go up to that man? A girl like, oh, it's okay. She wasn't much of a loss. See, you see, I can't. Bubbles kind of points inside their mouth and just, you, you know what Bubbles is saying the whole time and Bubbles is just trying to communicate like, I can't even talk. <laughs> I think that's uh, the benefit. Uh, yeah, that's right, true. Okay, <laughs> Ghostly, I think this might be for you. What's, what's, what's that then? Like, go, go give Brian a, a hug. Oh, Brian's upset because they had centers and bits on the floor. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> okay. Um, Oscar will um, will look at Ghostly and say, uh, "Frog, horse, frog. Do you want a frog, horse? Do you want to go on top of the frog, horse?" <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Are you all right, mate? Frog. <laughs> oh, time frog. Do you, do you hit your head? Oh my god! <laughs> I will. I will go next to Madame Sprout and just put my hands on top of the frog. Safe. Very safe. <laughs> Eternal Oscar right now. <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes. <laughs> Hello everyone, Ooh. welcome back. Um, uh, so, last we left off, the PB Rebellion have been on the run from Blight, Dark Light, an assassin. Some, this professional killer who's really, really good at killing Failords and is trying to kill Wisteria. Um, now, we have found while you've been traveling on the road, there has been a lightning elemental up on the mountainside, digging around, looking for something, hurling boulders off the edge of this mountainside. Um, and Quill immediately went off to try to communicate with it. It started to get a little hostile, um, but Wisteria quickly cast Fast Friends. And for now, it is friendly. Um, I think that lasts for maybe a minute. I'm going to double check. Um, but in the meantime, you managed to tap into your glasses, Wisteria, so that you can you can write primordial. You can't understand it, but you can write it. Um, if you were to read it, you could also understand it. Uh, and this lasts for oh, it lasts for an hour, fast friends. So you're you're good. Um, okay, so what do you do? What are you writing? Okay, so um, I will begin the message by writing, Hello, um, we are very friendly. We are just passing by. You looked like you were missing some, and we wondered, Oh, gosh darn it, that strong independent light elemental looks like would require some... So some help. Maybe we could maybe we could do so. Not that you were not capable of it. It's just thought maybe you I I feel like you have just taken up like forty or fifty square feet of snow writing this message. It's really funny. <laughs> I can imagine you just yeah. writing this over the entire place, continuing to write and um yeah, eventually this thing just <sighs> dashes down towards you. Give me a persuasion check. With advantage, I will say. Oh. oh, nice. Um, that's a nineteen. Is persuasion intelligence? It's or? uh charisma. Charisma. Okay, never mind then. Mm. Then it's uh just nineteen. Nineteen. All right. So as this thing <laughs> dashes down, lightning crackling, everything is just a swirling cloud of storms. It looks down at the message that you just made and it starts to swirl like a hurricane around it clearing all the snow flattening it out again and then quickly with like very sharp precise strikes of lightning it burns through at uh, the side of the cliff and it starts writing in primordial just <laughs> and it just says hammer in primordial which is the same oh. word it's been saying again and again Okay, um, I will quickly write on the snow. Is it the magical hammer? <laughs> Again, it just says yes. Thoros's hammer. Okay, okay. I will write I help and give a thumbs up, and then I will use. Uh, What's he saying? He said, oh yeah, you can be translating if you want. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. So, boys will kind of turn around and be like, Hey, so, this little lovely fellow, very strong and powerful individual, by the way, um, he requires a little bit of help. Um, he lost his magical hammer, I believe forest hammer, so I'm gonna help him. Right. Um, I can just um, ask Thoros. Hmm? Do I can just you ask know Thoros. 
And did he did the elemental say that it is indeed his hammer, or he is just looking for Thoris's hammer? <laughs> I'm gonna ask Thoris. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna bring out the harp, and I'm gonna I'm gonna summon Thoros. How do you how do you summon Thoros with the harp? Um, I one of my um one of my twelve lads in my harp is Thoros. It is. Oh yeah, shit! You gave me Thoros. You oh forgot. fuck! I did. Yeah, I totally forgot that I gave you Thoros. <laughs> oh wow! Shit, I did. I have Thoros. You oh, do? Yeah, 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 yeah. You do. Fuck yeah! You just have a god in your thing. Yeah, you just have a god. Yeah. That's right. I'm. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. Well, from how you described Thoros, mm -hmm. um, it may just be a bit more of a rough sounding melody yeah. just um not as very put metal. together yeah um and she's gonna like think really hard and i need thoris i need thoris i need thoris and hope you got it, it. A bit with me now so yeah you just start playing like thunder <laughs> <laughs> and uh with that i'm gonna use this as it for now i haven't got any other. Thing, but eventually this colossal spirit bursts out of your heart. Your heart starts to crack and splinter as this lightning starts to <laughs> burst out of it. And eventually this large, large, large being, uh, about a, I don't know, oh 60, God. 70 foot tall, uh, <laughs> just looms oh. over you all. It's just a swirling cloud of thunder and lightning looks down oh, at all of you. Hi, Thoros. Um, this lovely person here is looking for your hammer, it seems. Um, I didn't want to do anything before I had your consent on it. Um, but uh, do you do you have any quims about that? Hi, it's the first time I'm calling you, <laughs> babe. Jesus. Wait, you see another hand oh, reach shit. out. If you can imagine, like, the big Colossus in, like, Final Fantasy XV, is mm. it? Like, this yeah. thing is huge. And it just starts to reach down its hand, going down onto one knee, <laughs> crashing into the snow. A big gust just blows up a bunch of, like, a whirlwind of snow around this thing. The whole cart is shaking and slightly lifting up at the back. And occasionally, Grog has to kind of sit down a little bit more to, <laughs> to brace the cart again. <laughs> Um, and it's slowly dragging it towards the, the storm and it moves its hand down. You see the, the lightning now looking absolutely tiny, even though it's uh, about 10, 20 feet or so in diameter, it crawls up into the hand of Thoros, uh, like a small little hamster, guinea pig, and then <laughs> slowly calms down until it eventually firms into this orb of lightning and it closes its hand around it and nods to you and like dashes up into the sky big storm clouds form and it uh the pair of them vanish oh well he didn't get the hammer but he got thoros <laughs> el is shooketh he's just seen the god of his whole fucking like <laughs> <laughs> i oh, bring yeah. back the big boys oh my god Oh my yeah. is definitely there, like mouth wide open, like. Right? <laughs> yeah, I haven't. I I I, I know I could me. bring him out, but I didn't. It's the first time I'm seeing him too. That was cool. He looks nice. He's very polite. Friendly oh my God, too. Yeah, really friendly. That was nice. Well done, Rael. Your your god person is cool. You do see. Now burnt in primordial on the floor where they left and dashed up in that bolt of lightning uh, it just rides home now it's, it's home maybe the, the lightning was trying to find its way home maybe that's why he needed the hammer probably I've, I don't know Thor Thoris is new I've, I've, I've just kind of felt him around so I don't really know his thing. I just, he's just kind of just vibing in. Well, that was quite a feat. Thank you. That was, that was amazing. You know, I tried. But, but being a Rispian, you have a lot of contact with men. 
I see. <laughs> I feel like that would give me a prime opportunity to have really good contact with men, though, because oh. then I wouldn't be sexually attracted to them. Ah, I see. I do, yeah. Uh, sorry, I do, I do not quite get the lesbian yet, but I'm trying. It's okay. <laughs> wow. You, you're, you're, you're working on it. I like it really well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you're like, Oscar is just staring, them just staring from one to the other. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't speak lesbian yet. Maybe one day. It's <laughs> <laughs> all lesbians. There you go. Maybe I know something before we proceed. Yeah, absolutely. We're gonna jump on the cart and da -da 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 to that tree that is over there. I'll, I'll be back in a second. I just got a cool idea. Um, I'm gonna go to the tree. Mm -hmm. Where is the tree? Oh, that tree. Yeah, oh. that's a big tree. There's um, another. Okay. There's a bigger tree over here. Uh, oh my god, it's a bigger <laughs> tree. Yes, I like that tree. Uh, I'm pro I promise I'm not gonna piss. Okay. Uh, basically, <laughs> <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get close to the. Um, how's it called? To the, to the, just to the roots of the tree, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna grab my tail and I'm gonna like. Put the tail on the tree and examine it as if it was a doctor, right? I'm like putting my ear next to my tail and hearing things, <laughs> and I'm like uh, gonna knock three times with one hand and three times with the other hand and cast. Uh, well, I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna cast plant growth. Be like, can you can you help us out, please? We're we're really in need of some really nice bush that covers our tracks. Mm. Uh, would you be able to help us out? Okay. To cover our tracks yeah. and make the territory difficult. So with that, Behind us. as you tune into this tree, you just hear a <sighs> stretching and then you just, as these roots start to stretch out under the ground and just these massive roots start to come up from the ground. Mm. This tree continues to grow higher and higher and higher oh. as you, it now just completely smothers the entire road, tearing it up, tearing up the road all around, massive roots coil around, other trees now start to grow up as well alongside this place, completely encasing uh, this road mm. in forest. Amazing. And thank you. Tearing up the road. The tree is smooth. Totally hiding your tracks. Yeah. Amazing. Very cool move. Let's fucking thank go. You. That is dope. <laughs> yeah, this Drew now stuff. Cool, stuff. very much looks like a really old road that hasn't been used in a very long time. Oscar, I'm sorry, I buried you there. Yeah. No, the tree has. <laughs> And uh, yeah, there's just, and it also, it uproots all the snow, everything else, so you're not gonna leave any uh, cart trails here. It destroys the trail that you've left behind you that was, you know, you're covering it well enough with the, the, uh, the pine trees that you've tied to the back of the cart, but now all of a sudden there's no sign of anyone ever being through here for a very long time. Um, yeah, you've turned this place into a very old, ancient pathway. I think moments. this decker looks way better now. I'm gonna give the tree a kiss and I go back to the cart. Mm -hmm. Can just, mm. Quill do something? Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. Go ahead. Um, um, where the lightning was found, because mm. he was still digging there, so yeah. there has to be a reasoning that he's still digging there. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, can because it's it's rock. I don't think she'll be able to. You know, demolish the whole fucking mountainside. Mm. But um, may I request mm. if she's gonna get out her Amstru uh, Amstru Amstru harp, harp, yeah. Um, and she's going to do Wall of Thorns in such a way that the thorns like break the rock, like try to make a fault line through it. Can can it do that? Do you think? Okay, so you want to try to tear up a bunch of the rock around this place? Yeah, I, I want to break into the mountain. Okay. Or at least where, where the lightning was. Yeah, I'll okay, get you to make um, a spell attack for me. Spell attack? How yeah. do I do that again? Um, so you should have your spell attack bonus somewhere. It's, it's your proficiency yeah. plus your um, charisma modifier. Yeah. 
<coughs> just mind my d20, right? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah. <laughs> tears through. Doesn't quite break through enough. It it removes a lot of the rubble and clears enough of the rubble. Give me an investigation check. <clears throat> Fourteen. Fourteen. As it does, kind of clear a bunch of this rubble, pushes all out of the side, out of the way. You see, there is one kind of like shard of metal um, buried amongst it all, kind of embedded in the side of the mountain here. Um, that just catches your attention amongst everything else. Um, but other than that, it just clears away, tries to burrow through the rock, and it can't quite get through. But it does clear up most of the area that's been rummaged through. Um, so there's just like a, a very shiny metal bit in there. Yeah, it's like a dull, dark metal shoved into the, the side of the mountain. Almost um, like an arrowhead. She's shape. going to go up. Oh, she's going to shout to Grog. Grog! Could, can I... Can I <laughs> bounds over to you. What is it? Um, there's, there seems to be something in, in the mountain. Mm. Can I? Would you be so kind as to see if you can get it out? Mm, yes. And he kind of rolls up his sleeve um, and just tries to plunge his hand straight to the rock. Let's see what he gets. Well, it's a natural 20. So with that, hey. plunges his hand straight into the rock, grabs whatever's there, like crumbles the, the dirt and stone in his hands. But as soon as he releases that shard, his hand just... Whoosh, slams straight down into the rock and breaks the stone below his fist where his fist lands onto the ground. Massive cracks erupt from there and he can't lift his hand up. There's this shard stuck, this metal shard stuck in his hand and he can't lift his hand. He's like, I got it, but it's really heavy. It's, it's okay, it's okay. It's probably, it, it's probably like magnetized to something. You see um, that all his muscles are straining, like his neck goes like to twice the size, he goes into a rage, his eyes light up like into black flame, and he just slowly starts to lift his hand, veins popping, like blood is pouring out of the corner of his eyes, and he's starting to froth them out, he's like, I have it! Ah! <laughs> Eventually he lifts it to like, eye level for you. Um... So it it went down to the ground from the crater that he accidentally made. Yeah. Does is there more pieces? Did anything else get? You can't revealed? see anything else, but you just see this one individual shard. Um. Can she sense anything from the shard? Mm, give me an arcana check if you like. Da -da 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 -da. My homeboy is just fucking dying, dude. <laughs> 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 Look! It's like, oh, let me just check this. Fast <laughs> <laughs> Literally, Quill yeah. asks for a favor. If you break his down, like, I will die for this baby. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's 16. 16. It's you can tell it's magical, but it seems to be kind of, it has this dull magical essence where it's... You get the sense it's a fraction of something bigger. This is a shard of an, a bigger, more powerful magical item. Um, sh she's gonna look at the others and be like, a little help, please! Um, <laughs> and she's coming over. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <you're> not. <laughs> <laughs> Banning over. He's, he's just trying to lift his hand. Uh, you can give me a strength check if you want to assist Grog. Um, seeing as it does look very, very heavy, Yeah. And I do peerless athlete. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. So what does that do exactly? It's... Uh, basically, for the next ten minutes, I use my channel divinity to yeah. have advantage on strength and checks and de dexterity, and absolutely. I can basically lift twice as much weight. Hell yeah! As I All right. Can. So the pair of you kind of lift under uh, Grug's hand, trying to prop up the the, the hand itself. Um, yeah, give me a strength check with advantage. Jim. Sick. Uh, now, how does Rail look when he's like whoosh, swelling up and being filled with yeah. this divine energy? <laughs> uh, <that doesn't> <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess from Shahil's point of view, he'll just see these like. I mean, he he wears quite. Um, Tight pants. I think he's gotten to a point where he's like taking off his cloak. He's like, nah, this is this is business. <laughs> and 
You can just see his back muscles have like doubled in their define. Like, oh, you can nice. just see the complete like all of the like nice. the trapezoid and like the shoulder blades and everything. Damn. And he's kind of like got these um like water rings mm. around his uh, wrists as well. Nice. He's just he's just oh. kind of bulked up a little bit, Hell like yeah. nah. <laughs> a shockwave erupts from your back, like pushes back any other snow and rubble, and there's a big cloud of, of dust as you <laughs> try to lift he's up. Really trying. Krug's hand with him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, with the positive side. He's yeah, yeah. Sick. Well, that is a 19. 19, okay, I'll also roll for Grog here. Uh, not as well as he did last time, that's a, that's a 17, but the pair of you slowly try lifting this thing and it gets heavier and heavier as you lift it. The, the hand's now about up to your chest. You just <laughs> keep pushing, keep pushing, <laughs> and eventually like, it starts to crackle with lightning. Uh, all around it as you lift it higher and higher and higher and then eventually there's this bolt of lightning shoots down onto it the weight of it just increases tenfold and you'll crash down onto the ground rock flies up into the air as both of your hands crash and smash into the ground um, oh shit would I would I know what this is then uh, give me a give me a history check or a religion check I would say give me a religion check religion yeah okay wow uh, you nat do, 20. Nat 20. You look yeah. at it, you look at your hands, that it's now like, like your, your knuckles are bleeding. You take four bludgeoning damage as your hands crash okay. into the ground. And you are filled with so much excitement all of a sudden. Your heart is pounding as you're like, holy shit, this is, this is a fraction of Thor's lost hammer. Doros's last hammer. You're like, this is 100%. This is a thing that cannot be lifted only by that uh, that god himself. Um, and this this is only a small fraction. And you, the t pair of you have just barely managed to lift it just past your chest. And you're like, oh, fuck, this is cool. Um, um, yeah, this thing is definitely been... This is the, the hammer that was made by the, um, the, the dark um, gnomes in, in Svartafine which is the, okay. the old city that orig originally made artifacts for the deities themselves. Um, it's now this uh, metropolis of um, kind of forward thinkers and tinkerers who, who primarily build weapons for warfare and war forges and things like that. But in their the heyday, when they first started up, they used to build relics and weapons for the gods and this was one of them and you're like this is only in stories but this is real this is you're holding in your hand you've seen thoros you've seen the elemental that probably possessed the hammer once before and you're like fuck i'm just holding a shard of, of myth in my hand oh, shit no shit balls he's just kind of standing there I, like his said like his knuckles are bleeding all over his hands, but he's just there, like, oh, oh my, oh my god. Oh, I. Would you mind letting Soros out again? Um, yeah, I can do that again. Um, she's gonna bring out the her her normal her, her lyre and her harp, sorry, and she's gonna thunder. <laughs> Yeah, so with a again, one of these trees splits in two as a bolt of lightning shoots through it. And uh, this titan appears again. Uh, after the colossal. <laughs> what? Sorry. Is this bitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry. The, yeah, the tree just splits in half on fire. This elemental of storms towering above all of you, looking down. Um looking at you again quill your your harp is like crackling with electricity more splinters fire away from it um and you kind of have to put out a few small flames on it uh and it just looks there hunched over just um hi thoris sorry to call you again uh, really short notice but um my friends seem to have a piece of your um a piece of your hammer um it's I don't know. Would you like it back? It reaches Is there over. You can do? Its massive hand goes down. Its fingertip, like the size of, the width of Krug's body, two finger, a fingertip and a thumb just goes down, very tenderly, like little bolts of lightning 
crackle around, reach out like smaller tendrils from its fingertip and pluck the shard out of your hands. Your hands are released and it looks at it, brings it into its chest and <laughs> bolts back up into the skies. It's gone. It's, it's, so he took it. Good. <laughs> Um, she's gonna then look at the the others, and um, this was kind of her fault. So she's she's, she's gonna she's gonna hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> uh, she's gonna do healing word sure. at second level for mm-hmm. Grog. Um, I don't know what I have to do for that. I mean, it's mainly Ra- Rails the only one who took damage because he was below oh. the hand. Then, okay. then you I'll, don't I'll... need to do it at second level. I only lost like four HP. It, oh, okay, it, I'll do it. I'll fine. do it at first level because sure. uh, yeah, um, I'll do it first level. Mm-hmm. And I'll give him. Uh, what do you want me to do? How do I do healing? I don't do that. It should be in your spells when you read it. I think it's like a D four plus your charisma yeah, modifier. Yeah, D four. Ah, it's a four. There you go. So with that playing the, the harp, Sick. little shoots and like the, the song kind of goes out of tune a little bit as a few bolts of lightning still kind of shoot along the chords. Um, but eventually those bolts of lightning change into this um, green flame that circles around Rail's head, healing and closing its stitching of clothes. I mean, I was going to say like whilst... Uh, Rao's hands are being healed. Like I bet his hat, like arms are shaking <laughs> from like the pure weight, <laughs> but also excitement. And he's just beaming over at Shahil. Like, did you see that? That was so cool. Oh, you don't don't worry. I saw every everything, Rao. <laughs> very very cool. You look back. The, the wagon itself is like kind of like slightly tilted, like half in the air, like with a big root underneath it. <laughs> Like Shahil's like barely hanging on, like completely disheveled in the back of the, the cart. <laughs> oh my god! I'll I'll go over and help like lift up the wagon to like put oh. it back. Normal- yeah. Yeah, you got the thing for it now. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you managed to get it back on onto the road again. And, um, yeah, another day done. Wow. Three. It's okay, it, was, it wasn't the main tree. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Oscar is just this man with the sand meme right now. <laughs> 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 just now on the floor being like, my tree. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I guess we can go now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you'll hop on the wagon, continue <laughs> on, and uh, continue through now a very thick forest. This has gone on for quite some time before eventually you come out into a clearing. And um, again, spend another night resting, pondering over things. The storm clouds now coming in fully to... Uh, both block out that sight of Mimmer's well that you can no longer see, but also um, bringing snow shortly with it. When the cold comes in, you wrap up for the night, bundle up, and uh, another morning comes, another day of travel. Um, <coughs> just so it's not constant, like, not everything will happen every single day, um, I'll get someone to roll a d20 first for me and let me know what the result is, and that will determine if... Um, I offer myself a <coughs> Absolutely. Give me a give me a D twenty. <laughs> That's an eight. Eight. So you guys carry on. <coughs> this day, completely uneventful, traveling through the snow, following the rivers towards um, Mimir as well. Oh, another day without having to sacrifice our bard. <laughs> 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 Uh, continuing on, the next day, rolls in. <laughs> uh, you okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, <Kat. laughs> That's okay. <laughs> um, whoever wants to roll the d20 for today to see if there's any events, uh, let me know. Me! Alright, go for it. This is the sixth day. So cool. <laughs> d20? <coughs> yes. Alright. 
11. 11, again, uneventful. Yeah. Day rolls by, very peaceful. Um, yeah. The snow eventually kind of clears to make way for more sunny skies, and you can see again, <coughs> you're that little bit closer to that sliver of blue light. Um, and you know that below that blue light, that's where Thoros built the contraption, the temple that could transfer uh, this Mimmer's Well to every part of Gostar, which would create every river um, throughout, um, throughout Gostar itself. It would be the start of every single river across the world. Um, then you know that that temple eventually became Demu's temple. Mm. Continue on to the seventh day. It's someone else to roll me a d20. Can I do it? Go for it. D20, right? D20. A 10. A 10. Again, uneventful. Nothing to, to note. Uh, just having some nice meals, seeing some nice wildlife. Eventually you see a small a farmer passing by, uh, just herding a bunch of giant goats. Like, literally, these goats are the size of, like, cows, if not bigger. Massive horns. Yeah! Uh, Eat goats! <laughs> he just gives you a wave. He's got a bit of, like, uh, wheat in his mouth. Just kind of... Uh, just just gives you a, a little salute as he kind of walks by. Um, scratching his ass. Like, just slapping the backs of these these goats' hides with a, a big stick. Just like... Oh, no. Hey, oh, up the hill. Up the hill. There we go. Um, we, what was our we horses to, doing? Yeah, because we'll, yeah. we'll probably need the goats because they're mountain climbing goats. Yeah, they are. Yeah. You can absolutely, you can, you can stop that. We firm. do a trade. <laughs> uh, yeah, let, our horses for one goat. <laughs> yeah, let me let me get a. We'll all ride it together. <laughs> where's my goats gone? I thought I had goats. Maybe I have them somewhere. Hold up. Either way, I'll just get a little little icon for the farmer. So uh, we'll have uh, we'll have uh, this this nice uh, white. I won't. Uh, I want to join the conversation. You won't. I want to. I want to join the the, ah. the, the trading. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh. So yeah, this guy is just like he's got a, he's got about fourteen or so giant goats that he's like herding up the hill uh, to another farm. He's like, how's it going? How can you? Help? You want to you want to you want to trade? Yes, yes, please. I, I'm sure our horses can't really handle uh, areas that we're going to go into, so I was wondering if you'd be willing to trade horses for one of your goats, perhaps? What else? That looks like some fine, some fine stallions you've got there. Uh, give, give me a persuasion check. He's going to size <laughs> up the horses. He's kind of looking at them, like opening their mouths, like looking at their teeth. <laughs> can, I, can, I give, can I give her... Inspiration. Uh, yeah, you can give a bardic inspiration, absolutely. So it's a yeah. D, what is it? I needed that. Is it a, <laughs> yeah. a D10 oh, is or is it a D6 oh. or a D8? I think it's a D8. 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 Okay, okay. Right, so Actually, am I okay to inspect the condition of the goats? Are they Yeah, healthy? yeah, absolutely. Give me an animal handling check. He's inspecting the horses, you go over and inspect the goats. <laughs> I got a, I, I'm so glad you gave me that inspo because I got a 13. 13, okay. Rolled a 4. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, so he's like, so these, these horses, they're, they're, uh, they're from the veil, yeah? You can tell. Yes, yes. Good breed, good breed, lovely teeth, healthy condition. I mean, we sell it, I don't really use for a horse, but uh, sure, I'm sure I could just ride along. But to be honest, the goats are much better on the mountainous areas than they're riding around. But I uh, might be able to share. How about, how about this? I'll give you a goat. Uh, in exchange for your hey. horse, and uh, we'll say throw in a, a gold, a, a gold piece. Yeah, I can do that. I got. Oh I got no money. worries. All right, got out. Uh, right, uh, so yeah, um, I'll pick out one of the boys now over here, and uh, let's see now. You can have. Uh, I don't have goats. This is just sheep right now. <laughs> I have to get a goat icon. But uh, Oscar, yeah, what did you get in your animal handling check? Twenty ways. Oh wow! Yeah, these these goats are like like first thing you you notice uh, is they are like real muscly. Like you you feel just below Ooh. the 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 
hair, the fur that they have, it's just like solid muscle. It's like rock just coated in this thing of hair. Very, very shaggy, massive horns, really thick, uh, strong mm-hmm. necks. Uh, and they are they are for they're definitely very powerful uh, labor working goats. Um, very strong legs, yeah, good condition. They they've definitely walked a lot as well. You can tell sometimes if goats have been kind of treading on like kind of like nasty ground, their kind of hooves can grow a little too long, and curl up and stuff. But these are all great yeah. condition, really really good conditions. Probably a, a, a big deal that you're getting here um, for the 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 trade itself. But, yeah. Fantastic. I will relay that to the others. So Amazing. These goats are great. Mm-hmm. Biggest deal right. we've so, done so far. I'll be taking this one in. And he hops up on the horse. He's like, you can have uh, old, uh, old Sandy over here. Can Sandy. I? Yeah. Sandy, uh, Sandy there, you'll be, you'll be missed now, to be fair. You'll be, you'll be well missed. But, uh, look, look after them. And, uh, pleasure to meet you. What's your name? My name is Rael. Well, pleasure. And, and yourselves? Uh, huh? Who? Shahil, or? Uh, just, just the general group, I guess. Oh, uh, oh. Nice to meet y'all. Oh, well, so, uh, we're the PB Rebellion! Well, yes, we are the PB Rebellion. Mm-hmm. Also, just to say, thank you very much, uh, Shiro, for the, the, the subs. That's very, very good. Thank you! Oh, my God. Thank, thank you! you. <laughs> and thank you for coming. I hope you like goats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sheep goats. Uh, PB <laughs> Rebellion, I'll keep an eye out for you anyway. Uh, that, sounds, that sounds great. And, uh, anyway, uh, the afternoon, you know, the, the way f- the way to be. Give me a hidden if I'm not back before before dinner. So I'll, I'll, I'll chat you later. I'm gonna give him uh, the two. T- I, he, I know he only asked for one goal. I'm gonna give him two goals. Do oh, we get another yeah. goat? Because now it's weird. There's this gigantic goat. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get a goat friend. For like, the goat. You kind of have to That's attach the cart to like the the hip of the goat because uh, it is like that bit bigger than the horse. Um, I think we should get another one, guys. <laughs> Shahil is just kind of got to le- lean over and he's like, well, Oscar, can't you just turn into one of those those goats? Um... <laughs> I mean, I mean we'd, we'd like to still have one horse if, you know, something goes goes wrong. So can't you just become the goat? I think it'd suit you. I think that would be very exciting, although... <laughs> what if I need to change into something else? Oh well, I have unlimited shape now, so technically... <sighs> okay, <laughs> I'll be one of the Oh, let's go! Go to Oscar! <laughs> but then, but then, hold on. If I'm in a fight, or if yeah. I need to heal anyone, and I'm a goat... Yeah. Uh, you can't cast spells when you that. Yeah, you, you'd have to change back. Um... Then our cart will be pretty much unstable with one animal carrying it. For, for the time one... being, you do know that currently you're in the, the area of Jotunheim, which is kind of the most flat and not really mountainous. So for the time mm-hmm. being, until you, unless you go start heading towards um, more kind of southern areas of Jotunheim, you won't necessarily mm-hmm. need um, and he goes, you will, when you get eventually to Jarlheim, from then on, it gets more mountainous, but going to Grimwald, you should be fine. Um, okay. So, so for, for the now, time being, yeah, I'll t- be myself. Yeah, you can be yourself. Yeah, we can, yeah. we can just yeah. tie the goat in the middle, and then we'll put the horse on the reins at the side. True. Yeah. Aww, or you can also like arrange the them in the line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got it. So the, the goat goes right in the middle, and uh, yeah, this thing is huge. It kind of blocks your vision a little bit with the massive horns, and kind of like it's almost like a giant iron sight uh, <laughs> to like guide you where you want to go. But yeah, so you buy uh, you buy Sandy the goat. Um, Sandy. Sandy, and uh, I'll give you some stats for Sandy uh, soon. But um, <laughs> yeah, Fuck yeah, stats for the goat. He's like, all right, see you later, and he, he goes up on the horse, like back up the, the side of the hill, uh, guiding the rest of his. Uh, his goats. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Hey, have a go. Hey, have a go. 
All right. Love it. Hell uh, yeah. Sorry. No, that's that's brilliant. <laughs> and uh, and so you go on with Sandy and your horse um, through more kind of it's you're coming into more pine woods as well now as you kind of get closer and closer to um, Grimwald. Um, it's a steady incline. Um, and eventually you come to the eighth day. So if someone wants to give me a, a roll, to see if oh. anything happens. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Do it. Eighteen. Eighteen. All right, I'll get you to roll a d10, and we'll see what happens. Yeah. We're gonna die. Oh, nine. Nine. Oh, okay. Exciting. So, you all <laughs> continue along the road, and eventually you see a lot of the trees here, a lot of the pine needles have fallen out of the trees, and they're completely barren. These skeletal pine trees uh, are everywhere you go, and um, uh, steadily you kind of make your way along the path, and then tucked in um, just on the other side of the river with a small bridge going across to it, there is a shack. Uh, an old shack with kind of cracked windows, very kind of ruddy and, and the brim of the window sh- the windowsill itself is kind of half filled with snow and ice you can't quite see in. Um, but there is just a wonky sign uh, that just says, um, Ramshack's big summer blowout. <laughs> Again. Oh no! <laughs> oh yes! Oh, Ramshack's! Uh, Ramshack's! Yeah, we have. Yeah. You saw Quill on That's the head. That's where Quill cut a horn off. Yeah. 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 Oh no, don't do that again, please. <laughs> right. I mean, she has another <laughs> horn to lose. No, exactly. Don't do that again. She does. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the door is slightly mm-hmm. ajar and off kilter. Um, so the bridge going across the frozen river to it, if you so wish to uh, to head over, but um, it's up to yourselves. We were running low on supplies. <laughs> Some hot <And> cocoa. Then... <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Are we running out of supplies, perhaps? Uh, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah. Because you've you've not um, you didn't stop in that other town. You, you're kind of ha- you're having to hunt now every day uh, okay. to kind of find oh. food. And as you are getting more and more like deeper into the the, the mountainous side, it's getting harder to find uh, game and things like that. But yeah. for now, you have a couple of days worth of, of rations left. Um, of kind of dried meats that you've kind of cured, but it's not being the nicest. Uh, Maybe that shop has supplies. Right? I mean, it'll I... definitely have something. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, yeah. Anything to right? Yeah, we'll, we'll anything. just have we'll just have Quill walk in <laughs> front. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Must I? I... Carry lesbian privilege. Alright, <laughs> 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 yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So one after another you make your way across the, the rickety bridge. You can see as well, you can hear the the water running just below the surface of this frozen river. And uh, eventually you make your way into Ramshack's big summer blowout. And inside, you see a familiar bulbous, rubbery head. Um, there he is. Of Ramshacks. And uh, inside, he is over his very thin, slender body. He's got this giant um, sewn uh, woolen jumper. Uh, it's way too thick. Aww. The the the. the Wool here is incredibly thick, and it goes out a couple of inches from his body. His hands are just kind of out to his side, and he has a, instead of a wiry mustache, it's just this big, bushy, uh, thick, uh, ruddy, blonde mustache. And he's just like, 
Hello. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to Ram Shack's Big Summer Block. <laughs> and he wiggles his fingers. And he's just Swedish. <laughs> <laughs> Swedish Ram Shack. We have <laughs> the uh, ice cakes and we have some soup and also <laughs> skis. If you would like any toasted <laughs> sandwiches, we have them in the back. We have also some maybe uh, wooden jumpers and a few potatoes. But anything you wish can be found here. Mm -hmm. Just yeah, grins yeah. with his uh, weird rubbery gums that have other teeth and a bit of glass and bone jammed into them. <laughs> I think we should get some potatoes. Mm. Potatoes okay. are good. They are very good. Which designs for the jumpers do we have? Are they on display? I want to know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. We have some maple leaf jumper. He pulls out like a, one that's all kind of like a, a bunch of oranges and reddy and browny autumnal hues with a bunch mm -hmm. of maple leaves, leaves all over it, uh, kind of in a band right across the chest. Uh, it's quite large. Uh, it would be big enough for you, actually. Uh, it might be a tight fit on you, but it's it's, uh, it's big enough. He's like, I also have some snowflake jumpers, one for children. And he pulls out a little tiny knitted jumper uh, that looks like uh, the, the design is a little off. Like, the, the, the things are very much not... Um, um, what's the word? Um... Uh, the design's off. They're, they're not like a perfect snowflake where there's like, you know, it matches each side. What's the word? My, my brain's gone dead. Uh, when something Symmetrical? Symmetrical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's completely asymmetrical. Like, the, the pattern's completely off. And then he rolls out another one that's kind of a similar design, but like a little better done. Uh, with a few loose threads all over it. It's like, mm, two snowflake jumpers. And then we have this. And he pulls out one that has like what looks like these kind of weird green faces all over it. And it's kind of hues of like green and then like a muddy brown. And then there's little kind of like threads of like neon orange running through it. And a couple of like flecks of like a muddy purplish pink uh, flecked all over it as well in places. And these heads are just really weird. They have these big bulbous eyes and they have little threads of orange. Uh, just below them on like the neck, uh, they kind of look like weird severed heads. Mm -hmm. Oh well, that one would would, would suit you, yeah. Mm, yeah. I I I'm I'm fine. I don't I don't think I need a jumper. I think it's just food that we mostly need. Just a little bit of hair and an eye drop. That's all I require. Hair and an eye drop. Mm -hmm. What, can you specify what kind of eye drop you Any need? Any kind of drop that would come from your eyes. And you feel yeah. now like the side of your face, there's, oh, there's already like a hand holding the side of your face and like one of the fingers <laughs> is worming its way up to your eye and like pulling down your eyelid. Oh my god. <laughs> well, mm. I can give the hair. I don't have eye drops, unless you mean tears. Yeah, yeah. that'll do. Just Tears will do. Any kind of juice that comes from your eyes. <laughs> Any juice is like, okay. You guys want these fucking jumpers then? Yeah, I mean, you can do just kind of. Sorry. That's I love the maple one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll still grab the maple one. Okay. What are you gonna say, Kat? No, I, I just like to like to quell. She would just be like, like leaning down. Like, I mean, if you need a reason to cry. Can just think about how you know Trill left us all again. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh my He's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that will certainly do it. In that moment as well, the, the hand that stretched over to your face, the finger just pokes you in the eye three times, gathers like three teardrops, and then like rips out a chunk of hair from the side of your head. Like the hand you just retracts, <laughs> pulls back into its body, and he just hurls the maple jumper over towards you, and it covers your face. I hope you fucking like that jumper. Merry oh, yeah. Christmas. <laughs> Ma Mary Chrysler. Mary Kurman. <laughs> yes. Mary Kurman. 
Yeah. Which so wait, did you buy? You wanted the maple leaf. You got me the jumper. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, he only he he only asked for one tier, but he took three. I said I need eye juice. And okay, <laughs> never mind. Oh, okay, I'll allow it. <laughs> Um, oh. Girl's gonna like rub where her hair's been pulled out. Jesus. Ow! I do want a snow bazooka. <laughs> snow bazooka! Oh my god, yes! Yeah. Yes! Okay. Someone else is paying for it. I'm not fucking doing that. How much is this? One wing. <laughs> I mean, do you do you need two? To <laughs> His head like tilts like 180, like an owl, kind of. Not like, not like an owl, but yeah. Yeah, it just kind of rotates upside down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Worcester is definitely holding your wing like, Chili, I think all we need is potatoes and soup. Oh. How much are the potatoes and soup? Mm, a toenail. Two nails? A toenail. Toenail? A toenail for six potatoes. As in like a toenail yes. clipping? No, no. Grak, Grak, oh, does it hurt if you pull out your toenails? <laughs> mm, yes. You know, uh, reptiles can like grow back their, their like the tail and stuff. It, it's not the healing. Yes, true. Yeah. That, would it hurt you? My tail. Mm, he goes down. If and, we like, looks at the toenail and just kind of rips it off. He's like, Ugh! oh my god! Uh, <laughs> and he throws it onto the table and it's like clatters onto the table. Just um, oh a God, bit of blood well, flicks on the table, he's like, mm, yes, and he just pops it in his mouth. Mm, six potatoes. And he throws <laughs> six potatoes <laughs> over to you. Six potatoes? How oh. much is the worm soup? Mm, worm soup will require you to give me a smile. Hi. Then I'll smile seven. Oh. And I'll get some. I'll ask for clarification. Okay. You, will, um, you want the soup, oh. yes? No, I wish for clarification on why you want me to smile. I just want your smile. You have what such a lovely smile. smile. The smile on her face. Oh. And he just want to smiles smile. and kind of shows off his teeth, just like, mm, like this. Mm. I don't want soup. I do not wish for soup. But your smile uh, is so good. I'll give you two soup for a smile. I, uh, uh, uh how much are the toasties? Mm, toasties are mm, one smile. Mm. Uh, uh, I think we should go now. Oh no, we no, no. To make some pine we we got six potatoes. Six potatoes for four days? Not enough time. You'll die. <laughs> I'll give you a whole bag of potatoes for a smile. Well, are, are you gonna let her keep her smile or? Yes. You you let me keep my smile. I'll only Will it stay on her bit. face? Mm, yes. How long? How how is a little bit? I don't know. A little bit. I I well, this much. I, and he just puts his fingers together like to indicate like a very small amount. I I wish to write a contract. Okay. I will <laughs> say that. He kind of pulls out a bit of paper, just starts like, <laughs> like scribbling, and just like there's nothing. It just scribbles on the paper, and he pushes it over to you. Sign that. To... Spit here. To... <laughs> Lick that. Pop <laughs> it. <laughs> Twist it. Pull it. What Make is this? Pop it. it off a contract. Pop it. Um... <laughs> can can she heal lean over and just spit yeah. on it? That's it. Uh, yeah. Let's... Oh, am I no. getting your smile? No. Yeah, sure. No. Okay. No. And sign there. Ah! <laughs> he gives yeah. you like a, a quill. Just. Just do a little, little, little <laughs> A bit. mini me. For two soups? A smile? Okay. Yeah. Can we. No. Wait, for the smile, can we at least get soups for everyone? I'll give you a bag of potatoes and a soup. Uh, how many is a bag of potatoes? Wait, let me edit the contract. He pulls his contract back, just <laughs> scribbles all over again. <laughs> <laughs> no, bag of potato, bowl of soup. But how much is a bag of potato? I wish to know how much potatoes there is in the potato. Sixty-four. Sixty. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> oh yeah. So sure. Smile for me. And he smiles. Could we have at least like, 
Basically, you know, a bag of potatoes and maybe a little pot of soup. Contract signed. Give me the smile. <laughs> as soon as you smile, Shaheel, his fist just like punches you right in the face. The hand grabs uh, a tooth from your mouth and just pops mm -hmm. it in his, in his chest. Yeah. And then you see the tooth slowly form inside his own mouth. Mm. I'm as pretty as you are. you okay? He, he was just kind of going to lick the plate. Can I ask which tooth wasn't? Uh, roll me a d20 and we'll see. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> if it's low, it's something that you can see in the front. It's 13. 13. I'm going to say it is the tooth just behind your canine at the top left. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well, see, so it's just going to lick it and we kind of gather the blood and just kind of spit it on like the contract good smile he's like yeah thank you i know i get that quite a lot you know you didn't have to punch me here's your potatoes he throws like the sack of potatoes right at you go <laughs> like falls oh, straight God. to the floor and then throws a bowl of soup <laughs> over it uh onto the floor in front of you with area and it's just it barely keeps in half the soup but it kind of wobbles and stays still and spills about half of it on the floor <laughs> so you're telling me i didn't even get the bowl of soup bowl of soup on the floor I, 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 you didn't specify. Do sure. I mean, we got potatoes. I, I would ask though, am I gonna get my teeth, my, my tooth back? Do you regrow teeth? I can sell no. you, uh, your teeth for, um, back potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think I'm fine, but can I, can I create, can I create a, uh, an, an ice tooth? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can. It, it kind of gives you a bit of a brain freeze as it comes out. Oh, that's fine. And it's real numb. Your mouth kind of goes a little numb, but you might adapt to it. Yeah, okay. Well, oh. I'll just keep that. Well, shall we leave, my friends? Yes. Happy yeah. Sounds like a good idea. Yes, please. Bye. Yeah. Thank Wisteria, you. Sorry, you, you owe me a tooth, Wisteria. Oh, yeah. Just about remember. I, uh, I had, uh, 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 Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Snow. Mer yeah, Merry. Merry whatever the fuck. As you start making your way out, you look behind you and the shack's gone. Nice. I'll, I'll, I'll find you a tooth. Yeah, that would be wonderful. Well, can I. Sheila's gonna try and smile. Can Sheila smile? Yeah, yeah, you can smile. Oh, oh that's oh, okay. Oh, it's just one of the two. <laughs> it just wanted a clear shot at some teeth. Just a little bit of a smile. <laughs> what is she? Oh my god. Well, that's terrifying. You could just specify if you just wanted a you tooth. Why do you have to say, I would take a smile, what a bastard. Face. Inscription well, all over again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's gonna he's gonna turn to Rael and just smile. He's like, oh, the, the, that's the, 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 the new tooth uh, suit me. Can I, can I actually see it properly? If it's uh, like yeah, it's like of... right in the corner of his smile. Like, just okay. that little corner of a bit of his smile is blue. <laughs> you know what? No, yes, it does. <laughs> but are you, are you okay? I mean, I think the next, next time that I see him, I will shoot him and kill him. <laughs> now I'm fine. Well, that, that's all we need. <laughs> you, you look fine. Yeah, thank oh, you. God. You can take the potatoes. I'm not going to... Yeah, I've done, <laughs> I'll, just, I've, I'll just pick up the potatoes. I've done my work, I think. You've got roast yeah. potatoes for Thank the next you. few days. <laughs> Yay. Yay! Mashed potatoes, Yay! roast potatoes, fried potatoes. Nice, nice negotiation on Wisteria. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm gonna go give Quill a hug. Oh. Oh, thank you for this. You didn't have to do it. I just really wanted a little memory of Rael's land, and I didn't I... see a gift shop yet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My hair will go back, and it's just a few tears. It's okay. I shall. You shall have a favor for, from me in the future. I will remember. It. Okay. Oh I don't know what that means, but that sounds important. Thank you. Did we only get also the Mabel sweater? Sorry. Uh, yeah, I think that was the only one that you grabbed. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Sorry. So it's it's like yeah. a little bit of a tight fit. You, a tiny bit of your belly kind of sticks out the bottom of it, uh, oh. and it, it kind of rides up your your wrists <laughs> just that little bit. And 
definitely shows off your your physique when you wear it. Ooh. I think I think uh, yeah. I think Ghosty would like that one. <laughs> oh, I, I, I hide my face. <laughs> also, whilst uh, Rail overheard Oscar saying that he couldn't find a gift shop yet, <laughs> um, he would just be like, he would just kind of look over the cart, um, I guess while shehill has got the reins or something, mm. and he's like, listen, can we get, maybe we'll visit my hometown, we'll get something from there that's a lot more symbolic than a maple jumper, okay? Uh, uh, yeah. Quick quick question. Regarding yes. that, you know. He's kind of sweating a bit. <laughs> oh no. In your hometown... The... He's just gonna turn. Are your parents dead? Uh... <laughs> 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 um... No, nice. they... They are very much alive. <laughs> okay. Why? No, uh, do they do they reside in your hometown? Uh, y yes, yes they do. Ah. <laughs> I mean, Are you when... worried, Shahil? I would never. About I just wanted what? to know. I just wanted to know if my partner's parents were dead, so I could pay my respects at the cemetery, <laughs> where they're buried. But they're not, so they're I can't alive. do that. Yeah, <laughs> no, so I cannot visit them at the cemetery. Them. Yeah, I just had to prepare because you know a cemetery meeting is very different from a personal meeting. That is true, I've been to many territories. Yeah, so... Yeah, I just wanted to ask, you know... Wow, what a lovely weather we have down here in Gifford. <laughs> you can just again. see, like... Bill's kind of, like, just sitting there. He's just staring ahead of him. You can see his ear flicking a little bit, and it's bright red. <laughs> <laughs> nice. We can turn you to Johnny. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> <laughs> so you continue on into the next day, ninth day of travel now. Someone can roll me a d20. I wish. No, you can do it. You can do it. Right you... Go for it. I'm sorry. It's alright. Go. Roll a d20. I got a two. A two? Day a is two. super peaceful. Uh, no. Gentle snow falling down the whole day. Uh, and you're kind of acclimatizing to the to the weather now at this stage. You're kind of getting used to it. Um, again, you find as well, Oscar, when you spend some time with uh, Sandy, the, the goat, they're incredibly warm the whole time. And anytime you spend any time close to this goat, you're just immediately warmed up by their body heat. There's a constant <laughs> uh, mist rising from this goat's body as they pull the carriage along, working hard. Um, but other than that, that nothing, nothing, uh, nothing crazy happens today. Um, just more snow everywhere. It's kind of limiting your vision, so you don't really see much off off the the road itself. Um, and occasionally, you hear thunder rumbling in the skies, and you think for a second maybe it's um, blight still on your tail. But you're it's unsure. It's hard to tell. Uh, but again, you bundle up around the fire, making baked potatoes, fried potatoes, mashed potatoes, using whatever kind of resources you have left to flavor them as best as you can. And you continue into. I have a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did we inspect the lamp that we got? Inspected? Yeah, Quill's been yeah. inspecting it. And to, to okay. summarize it, uh, what Quill's found out is you need to have a strong enough. Um, of religious artifact to like collide with this one to some if you wanted to maybe destroy the two of them at the same time um or you alternatively need the sword that blight has to unlock it which seems to be the key and the lock for locking things away so and, hold on we're not looking to destroy it we're looking to open it right yes. or both yeah you don't know if destroying okay. it will do anything to the souls but when it was damaged that time by uh, demo of one stage, one soul seemed to be released. Uh -huh. And this is like a religious artifact, right? Yeah, this seems mm. to have been made and kind of sealed with um, some sort of um, divine magic from some sort of god. So you oh, need... Yeah, you can't really break this with magic itself. It'll have to be broken with the power of another deity. Oh! Hold on, I could sure. have something for it actually. Um, so since we're traveling so much, I can just use some spells of a higher mm. level. Sure. Um, damn. May I cast commune? 
can oh, bring this game yeah, big. Yeah, oh. you can. Come oh, I can with Wisteria if you want. I could do commune too. Yeah. Oh, we, we could do a double commune. Together. You could definitely but do a double commune together. together. Yeah. So. Oh my God, the mother there with Dox and them are gonna meet. <laughs> so I will say. Um, let me see here. So you ask a question. I make like a fairy circle of mushrooms. I make them grow and I put like tiny candles on top of them. Yeah. It's like a ritual. So with this yeah. one, you can ask up to three questions that can be answered yes or no. You must ask the question mm -hmm. before the spell ends. You receive the correct uh -huh. answer for each question. Divine beings aren't necessarily omnis omniscient. Uh, so you might have an unclear answer, blah, 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 blah. In case the one word answer could be... Okay, so you can also have a one word answer. Um, or it can be a yes or no answer. Um, mm, gosh, yeah. I need the okay. questions though. So yeah, you have you you ask questions essentially, and they will mm. give a yes or no answer or just a one word answer depending. Oh God. Um, so you can both have a think about um, yeah. what you want to do with that. Um, can Cool participate, but just not ask the questions? Can she? She just doesn't want to let go of the lamp. It's up to yourself, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Quill is just in the middle of the magical circle. Mm. I can just be the conduit for the spirits or whatever the yeah, hell's happening. So Oscar creates a fairy circle with all the mushrooms, and Wisteria makes the lights rise up from the mushrooms. Aww. And turns them into fireflies. We may be doing witchcraft, but we're going to do it aesthetically. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that! It was so good! It was so cute! So we're trying to find out this... Um, okay. Uh... <gasps> Pretty! Ooh! Wizzy and Oscar are sick. Oh, amazing. should I... Hold on, I'm going to ask the rest of the group. What do you think I should be asking? I have three questions. What are we trying to figure out right now? What What is your main well, plan? What do we need to well, free the souls in this land? We I guess. Know we need a deity. So maybe we can ask the deities, hey, can you help us? And they'll probably be like, yeah, let's go. And I'll be like, yeah. sick. We, How? Would it maybe also be beneficial to maybe ask where that guy who's trying to kill you is? Maybe? Oh. That would be beneficial. That would be a bit more beneficial, I'm not gonna I lie. Well, I'm not sure if we can find out where he is. I think mm. the answers are just yes or no, no? They can be uh, one word answers as well. You've not done this word. before, but yeah. Mm. Uh, like, we can ask like, uh, far or close? It, it's okay. like talking with Thrill, Ooh, so it's I just could, easy. I could ask how many uh, how many feet away is is the light? Yeah. Mm. Is that your first question? I. Yes! How many feet away is light, dark light? You just hear this like pondering in your ear for a moment, uh, for quite some time. And eventually they're like ninety-two thousand. Ninety-two thousand feet? Yeah. No, that's pretty far. I think. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a big number, so that's good. Ox needs to check on Google Maps. <laughs> 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 He's just checking city mapper real quick. <laughs> yes. Ninety-two thousand. Ninety-two thousand. Ninety-two thousand. It's roughly like seventeen that? miles. But if you're doing kilometers, it's kind of like. I only know kilometers. Mm. I don't know miles. <laughs> um, that's okay. Uh, okay. That's like twenty-seven kilometers. Yeah. That, 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 uh, yeah, mm. That's okay. all right. Uh, okay. That feels far. I I'm gonna say that's far. Um, I are, are they both doing two separate communes and they yeah. each there, have three? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. each have three. 
so I'm going to pass on and say that Oscar can ask a question. Of Oscar. <laughs> You're passing the mushroom mic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm passing the mushroom mic. Hmm. I feel like I would ask. Um, do we have the means to free the souls from this device? And I show the lamp. Just pick up Quill. She's holding the lamp up. I'm, I'm picking up Quill. <laughs> <laughs> Um, as you pick up Quill, again, there's a pause. You say... Nearly. Mm. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, that thank means you. we're almost there. Oscar, if you didn't know, I learned that word. <laughs> <laughs> Staring there in the car, much. just peeking out like it's nearly means nearly, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll, I'll pass the mic to Mysterio. <laughs> okay, I need to do a can, can I have the mushroom mic? May I ask a question? You can't ask a question, you're not- It's my day to <laughs> Can I ask <laughs> you if I can ask- If you can ask the question? Okay, Is that you okay? Want to ask. Am I asking you, Mysterio? I mean- Am I getting passed <laughs> the around the like a parcel? The mic is on me, so ask me. And okay. Then, depending on what you say, I'll say yes or no. Can you I'll ask if Demu would be the one that can open the lamp? Mm. That's a good question. But I also have two planned questions already. You can feel also that the, the spell is starting to slip, like you only have a certain okay, amount of time okay, to answer okay, these okay. questions. Um, okay, so if I was to use divine intervention, would you be able to help me? <laughs> you just hear like, oh, that's fun. Hmm? That sounds fun. That's, that's not a yes or no. Okay, so I'll consider that as an yes. And, uh, uh, okay. And, um, could Demu be one of the gods to break the curse? Or the, the, the lamp thingy that's oh. right over there? Would we be able to, to get her help? What do you think? It's yes! Okay. okay, thank you. Bye! Thanks! So the answer is yes? Yep. Yes. Oscar, ask your oh. questions quick. Your spells. You got your oh my questions. god! <laughs> Help, guys! Uh, <laughs> ask if they're having a good day or not. <laughs> Just be nice. Yeah, I feel like that's polite. That, that's a good I one. Throw a snowball. Yeah. That's that's for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, since you, they said nearly, ask who's nearly able to break this, uh, break the the thingy, to free the souls. Because then maybe we'll get an answer as to who's the closest. Because it could be real. I will ask that. Who is from <laughs> from our friends is the closest person to manage to sort this out? Demu. What? Demu. What? Dem. What? Demu. Demu. Oh. Oh, okay. Demu. Oh. So definitely not okay. him. So he said okay. him. No, no, no. They say Demu. Sorry. Demu. Okay. Ah, Demu. okay, okay. Okay, fantastic. Oh, um, weird and, uh, okay, and my last question will be: We can ask. Where to a part of the a part of the light night is anyone else watching us <gasps> doing this journey? Yes. That's a good question. That's a good question. Us. Oh, nice. Dun, dun, dun. Ah, Thank that's you for your help. That was a good question. Oh. You see a few kind of vines, right? Kind of come up, wrap around you before slowly falling back into uh. the sun. <gasps> oh, it's Lilith. Oh, Lilith. <laughs> yeah, Lilith. The lady, oh. she's back. Mm. Not necessarily. So you, you get the you get the connection that that was the mother doe saying goodbye. Oh, fuck, oh, okay, fuck. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say, Jesus Christ, could I take a break from my family? <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh my God. It means you might okay. be too. <clears throat> oh. Great thanks for that, Kim. Uh, okay, so I'll just kind of walk up to the cart and I'll go, okay, so that was kind of helpful. Um, so we got two choices right now. 
Well, we got three choices right now. So one, uh, we we keep it as a decoration. It's a pretty lamp, and it could, it no. could help us see on dark days. Two, <laughs> we try to summon Demu. We go find her somehow, and she helps us because apparently she's the only one who can help us through this. Or three. I try to channel Oxenim and try to break and free the souls, but also uh, Oxenim are um, very amazing partners and uh, could also lead me to more mischief. I... As you say so, I'm gonna start putting you on the cart and just look <laughs> behind me in my surroundings because I feel like I'm. <laughs> you mean what? Too. Yeah. Give me a perception <laughs> check. Oh, my assist some way. Uh, okay. you're this is this is something I guess Oscar's yeah, yeah, yeah. doing. Like they're very distracted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, give me a perception. I mean, Wisteria, it's, I, I, you know, it's all nice and dandy too. You know, when I release the, the spirits. But do we have to do it right now? They're they're yes, already. I mean, I mean, they're I mean, already trapped and dead. I did, we don't. I mean, they can wait a bit longer. You you do have a point. No, yeah, thank can, you. I feel like Demo's the best bet. We're already on her way yeah. anyway, and I feel like I don't want to leave I've her got, waiting. Got a theory. What did you get, Oscar? Twenty-three. Oh, <laughs> oh. big boy. Oscar. I'm scared, and I'm protective of my family. About <laughs> about a so kilometer going, down oh. from the path where you've come from, in one of the trees, you see this bone white face with lips painted black, curled up into a smile, and they retreat back into the shadows. Yes! Oh. I shapeshift into a goat, and I keep, and I, and I'm gonna help <laughs> the card go faster. Zoom, zoom! <laughs> I'm just gonna say, before, uh, before I do that, I say, we're being followed, we have to go, now, and I shapeshift. Okay. Can I just kill them? No. Oh, okay. the goat. <laughs> 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 all right. So, continue on. Travel all day until night eventually falls and the snow is falling heavy now. Uh, constantly looking back, trying to see if anyone's following you, but a blizzard is starting to pick up and eventually you have to tuck away into a cave uh, to wait out this storm. Um, the night goes on. If there's anything else we want to do that night, let me know. But, um, yeah. Friends uh, with a plant growth. Just some random vines, trees, whatever. Sure. I'm just gonna. <laughs> sure. Thing. I'm terrified. I am yeah, full on yeah. panic mode. Sad. <laughs> Os- whilst Father Oscar's. Oh, sorry. You go, you go, Marissa. Oh, um, I was just going to want to cast silence. Oh, yeah, sure. Just remind yourself. How long does that last? Um. Never mind, it lasts 10 minutes, that's fucking useless. Okay. Well, you can stay silent for a short whipper period of time. You bring up the, the uh, tree around the, the cart, uh, and that night, just someone roll me a d20, please. Okay. Seven. Seven. You wait out the night, looking out into the blizzard, expecting something, someone to come into the cave. The night keeps going. The blizzard eventually subsides. And you can hear a bird song the next morning. And no one. No one shows up. Have any of us slept? Uh, I could say you could have done shifts. Yeah, it's very simple, just okay. to say that, just for, for the expediency. Yeah. yeah. I, just I would have totally oh, told yeah. the other. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah. Guys, keep going. Keep no, going. it's okay. Uh, uh, no, I was just wanting go. to. Um, uh, Shahil, very briefly. Mm-hmm. Even if it's just during the night, if they're taking a shift together or, or yeah, something yeah, like that. It's true. Um, uh, Guess he's also kind of looking at the fire, like fum- fumbling his hands a little bit. Um, not really making that much eye contact because he's awkward. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, 
know what you said earlier uh, about parents and um, possibly if, if they were deceased, which, which they are very, very not. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. any, anyway, paying, paying respect to them, uh, I, I just wanted to say that was... Um, it was very nice. So, uh, thank you. I've I've never had anyone say they wanted to pay any sort of respects to my parents. So, uh, thank you. It, it just kind of caught me a bit off guard. <laughs> not gonna lie, <laughs> it's not every day you have someone and you and ask if your parents are dead. <laughs> yeah, you you know I. I didn't ask because I wanted them to be dead. I was just no, 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 no. I'm, I'm I, sure not. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I, I forget that parents aren't dead. All you know, you know, my parents are dead. No. So, that, yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, but uh, don't, don't be sad about it. It's you know. Oh. I mean, we we killed one of them together, which which was uh, fun. Yeah, fun. That's an interesting word choice, but yeah. <laughs> yeah we'll go with that. <laughs> uh it's just kind of like rubbing the back of his neck a little bit, just giving it a bit of a scratch, like, um... And... Uh... How do, how do I word this? Um... Being, uh... I'll give him, like, direct eye contact. <laughs> now, uh, being, being... called, a uh, Partner. He was also... Very nice. Oh. Um. I mean. Yeah. Um. I. I think. As much as. You know, I've. T I've tried to kill everybody in this group, at least once. But, I. I have come to, enjoy their company. But. He's gonna turn and just kind of, look and just. Uh, I think I, I think I, you know, I think I, as much as I like them, I can only call you my, my partner, so. You, you're, you're special. Oh. Uh, but, but you know, the others are special too, I'm not, I'm not saying that, that, you know, <laughs> they, they're not, but I, I just, <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> No, I, I, I understand. I understand completely. But um, I think it would be safe to say that those feelings are reciprocated towards yourself. Oh. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's great to... Yeah. Yeah, but uh, thank you for telling me. I... Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> um, um, yeah. I just kind of almost doing that gesture of like slapping his hands on his thighs, like, <laughs> well, <laughs> and uh, kind of looking at the imaginary tell the time where you go on his wrist. And it's like, I think we should maybe. Um, which uh, shifts with someone. <laughs> it's been a yeah. Boss and um, a time. Just a quick question before. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, does, does your mother like flowers? Flowers. Uh, yeah. Just kind of sits back and looks up in thought. No, I, I think she'd be a great lover of flowers. I mean, we, I mean you see all around us we don't really have much opportunity to uh grow flowers here so okay. i i would say yeah i i, I think I think she is okay well, <laughs> yeah i i'll go um i'll go wake oscar up so he can take the shift uh, yeah yeah i'll 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 go to the tent so yeah uh, okay shahid night. was gonna good night is <laughs> it <laughs> Oscar, <laughs> just kind of start shaking him. Just Oscar, Oscar. What? Good morning, Oscar. I'm prepared. I think I'm 
Good morning, Oscar. It is your time to have the shift. But beforehand, I have a question for you. Yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 Hi. <laughs> you, you look you look lovely in that sweater, by the way. I think it really, really suits you. It brings out your eyes as well. Okay, what do you want? No, just, you know, you're like the, the plant the plant man, yes? You you make the, the plants and the flowers and all of that? Um I'm, Yeah? Uh, yeah. Yeah, wonderful. Okay. I know you have all the mother dough, and mother dough is also very powerful, so of course she is with you. Um, I'm not saying that you have to do it now, but at some point, can you make some flowers and just tell me about it when you do? But keep it a secret. Ooh. Any specific requests? A colon shape. I think red and and blue would be would be nice. <laughs> I, I can I can certainly try. I will let you know, but you have to tell me when that that when they must be ready. Okay. Yes, it's kind of okay. hard because it's full of snow in here. Oh, yeah, but I know you're a very powerful man, Oscar, so I know you can do it. Just, you know, before we meet uh, Jordanheim, be nice, yes? Yeah, sure, can do. But I'm going to put my hand on his shoulder and be like, mm. oh, please get some rest. This is the most compliment I've heard from you in the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. You know, you know it's <laughs> 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 Wonderful. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, go, good night. He's just gonna run off. <laughs> to, to, to you? I'm a little bit confused. <laughs> and then I, I, I just go by very happy, like, oh, that was really nice. And then I stop, and I remember I don't have druidcraft. Oh no! <laughs> oh, he'll have to figure something out. We're gonna out. have to find out how to make some flowers. <laughs> 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 All right. But uh, yeah, just to specify there is it's um, so Rimgroff <laughs> is where um, Rail is from, and you're currently in the it's like the continent of Jotunheim. Oh yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I meant. No, yeah, no, but, no, I figured yeah. So I just yeah, but it, yeah, it makes well, sense uh, that Shahil wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, Shahil doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was that amazing. Thank you for asking me. That was so nice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love their dynamic. It's so chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine, like, Shahil, like, literally on top of Oscar, holding his collar from, like, shaking him, like, oh my god! <laughs> I mean, yeah. And, and Oscar's hand on Shahil's shoulder would, like, encapsulate the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, I will just get Oscar to make a perception check for the night Oh watch. no. <laughs> I love having anxiety. Oh, Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, besties. Manifest. You did not manifest enough. This was probably. <laughs> Sorry, sis. This is an eight in total. Eight oh, in hold on. total? Hold on, hold on. I did get. I you did just get his right? brace if you want to use it, yeah? Mm, you know, yes. Right. No, I'm gonna paint dice sure and thing. let Mother Doe guide me. <laughs> Natural 20! Wow! Okay. The manifest! Uh, okay. There's a blizzard outside. There's also trees and bushes and everything else kind of blocking your vision. But similarly to like Princess Mononoke, you know when he sees that deer that one time, uh, and he, like his vision just continues to zoom in and zoom in and zoom in. Like there's no way he can see this. But Oscar, you do. You look past the snow, past the branches, and you see out in the snow the silhouette of a very large being, about eight foot tall, when it's hunched over long lanky arms fur kind of coated in snow can't quite make out any colors or anything else it's just a silhouette but it slowly turns to you its face is long and white with two dark pits of eyes kind of you can't see the eyes in the the night the moon illuminates its white face. And again, you see those black lips curl up into a big smile. And they just bring one of their long fingers up to their lips. And with a natural 20, you can see this white face as it catches the moonlight. 
its grease paint smeared over a furry face and it has a white glove that it brings up to its lips and it just says shh and the snow kind of covers it up again and it disappears oh my god very quietly I just turn back to the others they're all asleep yeah. oh no they're all asleep yeah. Am I the morning person? Okay. Yeah, it's coming into the... It's about 4 a.m. Oh, oh no. Um, oh, what do I do? Oh, I just kind of curl up in a ball on the floor. I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, so scary. I wonder, do I have... I have never seen anything like this, right? Mm, give me a nature check. Okay, let's see. Mama! Oh! Uh, hold on. 16 plus 2, that's an 18. Rolling well today, besties! It's, it's strange. Their figure is hunched and lanky. They're a little skinnier than usual. Their arms are a little longer, but the features on the face definitely resemble, even though with the grease paint and everything else, Kind of resemble a fur bulk. Oh no! <laughs> oh, <laughs> right off. <laughs> Wait, what? What? No. I, I did not see it, guys. Oh, you won't get it. Yeah, I do. I don't get it either. I'm just laughing at this the chaos. This is really bad because I hear Sharis. Maybe it's from the <laughs> the the thingy that. Um, mm -hmm. the checkmate mm -hmm. the skies, the chess pieces. The, the checkered core. Cool. Yeah. Well, hold on. I am thinking, we're inside this cave. Is it literally a cave or does it go deeper? It's, a. Uh... I would say it's just a cave. Uh, just a there cave. is a small hole, uh, no wider than like five foot, where there is a stream coming out, all frozen and ice, and there's icicles as well inside that small little hole. Oh my god, uh, do I know more or less how far this creature is from me? They're about 10 feet away from you in the snow. Oh, Isn't that like super close? Uh, it's uh, about like here. Oh. <laughs> like this area. On the road. Okay, I instantly go and wake up everyone up, but sure. like I touch their like shoulder and I go Shh. as soon as I wake them up, not to make any noise. One by one. So, quietly. Mm -hmm. And, and, yeah. and sort of whisper, like, what, what's going on? I'm sure she was probably next to him. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just grabbed a heel by the by the face to cover his mouth and I... <laughs> 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 uh, what, what, what's outside. going on? There's something outside. Big, fluffy, <laughs> white, looking at us. Black. Smile. I don't like it. It's waiting for us. A yeti? Uh, I don't uh, know. I'll, I'll go outside and try and have a look as well. Yeah, give me a, give me a perception check. Hey. <laughs> um. Eat my dice. Meow, meow, meow. That's it. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, they say, uh, 15 plus 1, 16. <laughs> 16. Uh, it's hard to see. You look out, and there doesn't seem to be any figure out there. Uh, proper squinting and everything. Like, mm. uh, you sure it just wasn't like, an Albert walking by? No, I also uh. seen the same creature yesterday. Rail. Yeah. Oh. As you're looking yeah. out, don't see anything for a while, then all of a sudden this face slowly peers over the top of the ceiling of this cave, looking down <gasps> at you, an upside down oh. face, oh completely God. smeared in white grease paint, black oh, lips, no. and you see oh. it's on its head, frozen to its matted fur, 
which is covered in snow, is a jester's hat. Oh no. And yeah. it just tilts its head around and brings its mouth hand over your mouth and just leans in very close and just says We want to talk. And they let go of your mouth and retreat back up to the roof of the cave. Oh Christ almighty. Uh I am um... Staring up at this figure in disbelief, and uh, he. What did he tell me? Do you want to talk, or we I want to just talk? want to talk? We. So there's more. Okay. You, um. Who the fuck is this? Um. Ah. Uh, just. Is it okay if I let them know who this is? Yeah. Just yeah, in general. Yeah, yeah, of course. So, um, this is the furball <coughs> called Barry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you said that is such a great the way <laughs> No, listen, listen. Barry is a very funny name and he is a very funny looking guy, but he terrifies me. I will oh, say, no. just to say one thing, you've never heard him speak a word in his entire life. Oh, this life. whole time? No, no. You always thought oh, he was God. a mute. Oh shit! I thought, yeah, I thought he was a he was a mute mime. Yeah. Oh no! Oh, that's terrifying. Um, <laughs> just look up at the cave at Barry. Um, <laughs> oh no, he's not in the cave. He's outside the cave. Sorry, he's on outside, the outside, sorry. and he's kind of peering over the edge of the um, the outside of the cave entrance. If that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll look at I'll look at Barry and. He's, he's retreated back up onto the roof. He's kind retreated. of skittering back. Yeah, you can you can try to climb out onto the cave as well and climb after it if you want. Oh, no, I don't want to. Um, <laughs> I will just very calmly on the others. Mm -hmm. There is a group outside. They are very uh, dangerous people. Uh, and to please let me deal with most of the talking. Thank you. <laughs> um... And sorry, what was that, Cass? No, no, no. You sure? Okay. Yeah. Um. And I will have a look outside and call out because they clearly know we're here anyway. So there's no use in hiding. Um. Is it the usual? Is it the usual group? There is. No answer, but you just see drop onto the floor in front of your crumpled piece of piece of parchment. Oh, I will. I will pick it up. And it just says on the piece of piece of parchment. Parchment. Uh, it just says meet in Jarlheim. Heim. Jarl Jarlheim. Jarlheim. So a uh... T H J A or. Uh, L H E I M. <laughs> oh, hi. oh no. Okay. Um. Are we killing more people? Uh, I am really not sure about this one. They want what? to meet in Jalheim. What if we can go meet them then? I mean, you should I... be damned if you think that you can go alone. I, no, I, I, I'm, I wasn't planning. To... You I were surely plan. planning that. Inside no, check. I... <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're gonna insight check me. I'm gonna insight check ya. Okay, insight check me then. <laughs> okay, bitch. <laughs> uh, Rail, if you want, you can, you can roll a contested dice if you want, or you can oh. just tell. No, I'm just, Shahil. I'm just gonna Whatever say. Of course, he can insight me, but yeah. I'm not really gonna fight it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's fair. Okay, so what did you what did you get there, Shield? I got an eight. Eight. What would he <laughs> gather from an eight? <laughs> um, he would gather that he uh, definitely didn't want to go alone. He he looks quite um, shook up. Mm -hmm. Definitely doesn't want to be alone. It was more uh, he um, again. Not that he wants to go alone, but he's trying to figure out how to deal with the situation because this is predominantly his issue. 
Mm. Again, not as a sole person. He just wants everyone to be safe because he knows that these are very dangerous people. Mm. Again, doesn't want to go alone. Okay. Well, I mean, we killed my dad together, so we can surely yeah. take on these guys as well. We've killed her. We've killed. Well, we didn't kill her, but we also defeated Lilith. It only cost me a dick. Yes, but I don't want you to lose the other one. No, somebody else can lose it this time. Listen, I... it will be fine. Okay? We'll figure it out. They said they just wanted to talk. I mean, we can I... see if they're, they're honest about that. But... Yeah, I guess we'll have to find out at Jalheim. Uh, are it the same people with the cat? The annoying one? Or nod his head. We've... I've read the cat's guts out. I think we'll, get, we'll be fine. Uh, got away. I th yeah, but you didn't just rip, we we just didn't rip out enough. It'll be fine. But let us just rest for a bit, and then we can figure it out. Right, guys? Do you guys agree? We help Rael, and it'll all be fine. We read about some guts yeah, if we have to. I I don't think it'll be hard. Does anyone have a map? Can we figure out, like, I yeah, know so... this guy is like, obviously they want to see us, but like, we got more important things to do, like fix a god. I will so, um... tell you now. Uh, just getting out the map. I'll just create a new layer. And I will do 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 do. Uh, that's our world maps. Oh, come on. Oh, it's just loading. Um, essentially, so you're heading to, um, um, Grimwald and Grimwald is uh, right here. You are about two days. Okay, from so it's Grimwald. on the way to Yarlheim. Yeah, it's an, it's another week then from Grim Grimwald to Yarlheim. Okay. Um, yeah, so you're two days from Grimwald, and from Grimwald it's about a week to get to Yarlheim. Okay, okay. Blood elves. Ah. Uh. Damn. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay. Okay, pokey. Okay. Yeah. It'll be fine. Don't yeah. worry. I mean, there's someone after my head anyway, so wherever I go, I'm probably gonna be killed. Yeah, exactly. You know, we're serious and deep shit as well. Yeah, you know, optimism. Guys, everything will be okay. Not as yeah. Well as after all. <laughs> Yeah, guys, let's, you know, raise your hand if you want, if you don't want each other to die and you will help not kill each other. Yeah, I'd raise my hand. Hand up. Uh, hand yeah. up. Yeah, hands up. <laughs> Both hands up. Grog's hands up. <laughs> Wait, I'll, I'll poke Grog and get... My hands up. The hands up, hands up, hands up. <laughs> yeah, see, we'll be fine. I promise you. Yeah, yeah, just like... Yeah, it's just like Wisteria won't die. We're gonna keep her alive. And he's just gonna pat her, like... Shoulders like quite harsh and just shake her a little. Like, See, she will not die. Just like you will not. I, I feel like I still got a concussion. Please don't shake me. <laughs> I'm just trying to shake it out of you. You know, haha. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. <laughs> you know, haha. <laughs> <laughs> you know, haha. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Gives me another concussion. Yeah, to even it out. <laughs> well, uh, no. Of course, I trust in everyone's powers and abilities and conscious, but please be cautious. It's, that is all I ask. Okay? Yeah. We'll, You're we'll talking to the to most cautious on. person here, says the person <laughs> that stole everything and is not cautious ever. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll, we'll still stop off at Grimald. Yeah. And we'll, we'll make our way. Yeah. Um, okay. I have a small question before we leave this cave. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, I wonder, I know this is, uh, like, is it, I, I doubt it, but I'll try to ask. Um, mm. Is there a temple nearby? Is there an area that's strongly linked to my deity? Anywhere near me. Right. Uh, like, give me a religion check. Very high DC, you've never been to Jotunheim, but you can see if you've read about it. Natural 20. Whoa! Oh. 
I am so happy about this, and I really hope there is now. <laughs> you know that Grimwald is a town that is completely run by spiritual leaders. Um, specifically, it's kind of divided up into two um, two factions, typically. One are the is the Church of um, the Morrigan, and the other is the Church of uh, Thoros. But there are other groups there and other shrines set up around the place and other temples for other deities. Uh, your deities have only come into existence recently. Um, and you can't really find anything about them anywhere. Um, they don't have shrines. You're probably one of the only people who follow these deities. Um, yeah, you, you know nothing about them. They just showed up one day out of the blue. Um, but you might find answers there. There is, it's, it's got a strong library connected to a lot of the, the deities of Gostar, so you might find some answers there. But there is temples. There is temples, yeah. There's several temples for other gods, but the core uh, two religions there, the two gods that are followed, are Thoros and the Morrigan. Amazing. I just want to cast a dispel, but I need a temple. Uh, called World of, uh, Word of Recall. Mm -hmm. Um... So I would need something either connected to my deity or just a temple, so like a religious. Yeah, there, there's definitely um, temples there. Um, so yeah. That's great. Uh, that'll be great then. No mm -hmm. worries. I doubted that this cave specifically would be like you know. Yeah, that doesn't very seem to be present anything here. In Oxenim's hmm. story, but. They're very new gods, and you're you're coming to to figure that out. The more you spend time with them, they are just children. They they were born pretty much as soon as you were born. Oh, we've lived our lives together. Cute. All right. Thank you very much. My pleasure. So, all hopping on the wagon for two more days. Um, I will say the next two days are go along really smoothly. The snow is still heavy, and and eventually, after the two days pass, you find yourselves coming to now a hilltop, making your way up the hilltop and coming over that the top of it, looking down and seeing another hill ahead of you, uh, you see the town of Grimwald. And uh, just to give you a sense of what this place looks like. Um, how do you? First thing you see nice. is oh. the spires really that come up over the hilltop. As you come up to the top of the hilltop, you see these two spires, but as you get to the top, you now see they connect to a skull, their horns coming out of a giant skull at the very top of the next hill over. And these horns have clearly been hollowed out because you can see lights coming from little windows inside the horns. These horns have been fashioned into towers. And then at the center of the horn, the eye sockets, three eye sockets and the nose have also been completely hollowed out and filled with stained glass. And then coming down from that hill, there's a large wall all around it. Coming down again, there is a statue of a very strong looking giant of a man holding up a hammer in his hand, completely carved out of the, the, the rocky cliffside. Other houses are around here set up, uh, kind of classic Jotunheim structure where they're very, the roofs kind of reach almost right down to the ground. Um, and they pile up all on all sides of the hills. You see there is a, a, a religious uh, gate as well that comes into the town from another entrance. It's another trade route and you come through another one of these uh, kind of torrey gates um, as you're coming down into the town. Then there's another silver spire coming up to the left hand side made out of crystal that rises up into the sky. You can see monks in different attire. Some are wrapped in like dark blue robes that uh, billow and move in the wind uh, on their own. And other ones have uh, 
dark black robes um, designed with and like kind of uh, with uh, attachments of black feathers at the shoulders um, and they also wear large black cloaks some of the black cloaks are made out of feathers some of them are made out of black furs um, but a lot of them patrol the streets um, other than that everyone's in kind of very simple garb um, usually kind of furs um, that resemble something between a cross between uh, it's like they're like kimonos made out of very thick furs that wrap around their bodies with big straps and belts uh, made out of silks some of them and some are made out of leathers um, they all walk around the streets just going about their business some of them taking note of this strange motley crew coming down into this town and we'll pick up there next time Webo. Yabo yabo. Yabo yabo. Yabo yabo yabo. I really, yeah, I really liked this drawing. Thank you. Yeah, it's so good. Mm -hmm. I, love the, I love the houses as well. Yeah, I, I had a so really nice. fun, like a lot of fun just researching the kind of the architecture. Yeah, like so I imagine like a lot of thatched roofs. Yeah, yeah, big time. Thatched mm -hmm. roofs, kind of wooden, uh, wooden buildings, um, all piled mm -hmm. up with snow. Um, yeah, there you go. A lot of temples around here, too. There we are. Thank you all for watching on the stream as well, whoever's still thank watching. And uh, thank you. Thank you. Before we go off, should I do the thing? Yeah, go for it. Uh, no. Thank you again, everyone who is still on stream, uh, still watching us. Thank you so much for watching us. Um, we have a YouTube channel, so if you want to watch our past um, productions or se sessions, um, more than okay. Uh, we have uh, a TikTok and we have a bunch of social medias that you can check on our about page um, just to keep updated on any time changes or any updates with like players or characters and stuff like that. Um, we also have our individual Instagrams and Twitters where you can see all of our artwork as you probably saw on our uh, little break video. Um, but yeah, thank you so again so much for watching. Uh, and we'll see you in two weeks. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you so much. Oh. See you all. <laughs> Thank you for this session. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you all. Bye. Bye.